than me, just like Tika did Martin. Now look at what you're starting. Schoolboy crush and it ain't on the hustle. Uh. Not dealing with nobody now, that's what you told me. What? I said, hey, yo, it's cool, we can just be friendly. Come on. Yeah, that's fine, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. Daddy, look! Yeah, that's fine. Let's do another one. Raspberry Mac. McDonald's? <laughs> that's a great idea. Let's go. Yay! when Jackson State goes up against Tennessee State in the Southern Heritage Classic. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on... Did you know that over 40,000 men will die of prostate cancer in America this year? Hi, I'm Don Buck, President of the American Cancer Society, Montgomery County Chapter, and a prostate cancer survivor. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and in September, Clarksville Memorial Hospital is offering a PSA screening for just $10. This screening is a blood test that determines your PSA level. PSA is one tool used by your physician to help in early detection of prostate cancer. Who knows, it might just save your life. I encourage all men 40 years of age and older to take advantage of this quick and simple procedure. So go ahead, make that call. Do it for yourself. Do it for your loved ones. Just, just do, do it. it. I'm glad you did, Dad. For more information and to make an appointment, call 551-1826. Lisa's Crunchy Cookie Cup. Airlines Black College Football Classic. Today, BET Sports travels to Memphis, Tennessee for the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. Hello again, everyone. I'm Charlie Neal. Glad you could join us for our inaugural 1998 Black College Football game right here on BET. The story tonight for both of these teams, Jackson State and Tennessee State, has to be defense. Last week, Jackson State gave up 287 yards to Ted White and Howard University as they lost their season opener. Tennessee State, in the meanwhile, gave up 251 yards to Middle Tennessee State's Torn Kirksey. He also scored three touchdowns. So protecting the run, protecting the pass is going to be paramount for both of these squads tonight. Let me bring in my partner for many, many years, former Hall of, former Detroit Lion and now Hall of Famer, Lim Barney. Lim, Jackson State, meanwhile, has a coach who's been there seven years. We're talking about Carson. And the James Carson has never started the season 0-2. He's in danger of that happening tonight. Well, Charlie, you know, coaches always get a lot of credit for winning. They don't always get the blame for losing. But Coach Carson says if he could do one thing over again, he would make that readily adjustment at halftime, which he did last week. All right, Mark Washington is the quarterback of record this year. They're counting on big things for him. Yes, they are, Charlie. He's, he's, he's into the starting role this year, and one of the big things about him, he completed a little over half of his passes last year that he threw for a team record of 12 touchdowns. His biggest game last year coming off the bench to spearhead Jackson State over uh, Texas Southern University, 55 to 49. He's got a strong arm, he's a big kid, and he's willing and ready to throw that ball up tonight. If there's an Achilles heel for Jackson State, it has to be the offensive line. They're going to have to have a big game tonight, first of all, protecting Mark Washington, also opening some holes for running back Destry Wright. Well, Destry Wright, Charlie, he's one of the finest running backs in the SWAC conference and one of the uh, outstanding guys in the tradition of Jackson State's great running back. He's going to be called upon tonight to show that speed and quickness and get the ball into the end zone for Jackson. Tennessee State has a coach in L.C. Cole. He's in his third year. His first two years, both years, finishing 4-7. He thinks he can turn things around. He feels this is 
is one of the better teams he's had since coming here. Charlie, they said that he said that first year he knocked on the door, last year he kicked on the door. This year he's going to knock the door down. So I'm sure Coach Cole is looking for a victory tonight. And he has a quarterback who can do it all for him. We're talking about Leon Mary, who last week against Middle Tennessee State in a one-point loss still threw four touchdown passes and threw for 447 yards. No question, Charlie. As last year, transferring from Pitt, stepped into the starting role. He has a fine arm, can move around in the pocket, look out secondary of Jackson State. He completed 30 of 49 passes last week, 12 of them down the hand of Tyrone Butterfield. Well, Charlie, he's a short guy in stature, but what he likes in height, he makes it up in statistics. A truly great football player. All right, 33rd meeting between Jackson State and Tennessee State. It's been seven years since Tennessee State has won. They last won over Jackson State back in 1990. And we'll be back with the starting lineups and the opening kickoff from Memphis in just a moment. Today's game brought to you by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. And by McDonald's. The irresistible taste that makes you say, did somebody say McDonald's? You're the flow charts? Yep. We can win this, Judy. Yeah. Let's get that account. <laughs> Street. Go down to the fork in the road, right? But make sure you take the left fork. Right. Then you see a big brown dog. Keep straight. Two blocks down the street, you see a man named Slappy selling meth. Don't buy one. You already got one. Right. Hang a right at Slappy. That's a left, right? Uh, a right. Left. 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 Right. 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 Okay. right. Keep straight. Watch out for the goat. Then you see a big McDonald's and. Right. Did somebody say McDonald's? Aren't you glad we brought you here? I'm glad. Denton, Texas, a lot of folks who work on their cars go to AutoZone because they know they're going to find quality parts, low prices, great selection, and good people like Tom Robinson. You see, Tom's the kind of guy who really likes to help folks out. And since he's been around cars most all his life, he knows his parts, too. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice from folks like Tom, there's just no place better than AutoZone. It'll be good to see Uncle George again. I remember he'd pull up in his General Motors car, and a few minutes later, we'd hear him. <laughs> he, he taught us about pride and love and about life. He'd say, son, always buy quality, and always buy from people that show you some respect. So like Uncle George, I'm a GM man. General Motors, cars and trucks you can count on for all the road you travel, people in motion. Nike Play Corps presents Oh, say does that star-spangled banner and wave For the land and of the free And the home of the Charlie Neal and Lem Barney on a beautiful night here in Memphis, Tennessee. We're at the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Jackson State and Tennessee State, the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. And Jackson State has participated in seven of them, Tennessee State in all of them. As you look at Torrey Thickpen, the deep man, as Jackson State in their white jerseys will receive the opening kickoff. That's Gabe DeLong, a freshman out of Walla Walla, Washington, who will be kicking off for Tennessee State. This Heritage Classic is underway. Comes down on the near side. Out across the 20. 
or not the 20, just shy of the 20, is Jackson State. That's where they'll go to work first down and 10. And tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Western Union. Jackson State will start with Mark Washington at the quarterback. Of course, we talked about him. He's a gunslinger out of San Antonio, Texas, a junior. And you see the stats for him a week ago. They lost against Howard. Destry Wright and Damian Bucksworth are in the backfield. Fields and Kendrick Travis, the tight end and the other receiver, will be Sylvester Mars. The front line, Blackshear, Wynn, Todd Edwards. And Wynn. They average 325 up front. One lone setback, or make it the eye formation, and it's Destry Wright bumping into one of his own men, one of the op linemen, and he gets about a yard on the play, and that is it. Devin Rutherford was the man he bumped into, trying to go off that left side of the line. As you look at Tennessee State's defense, Carter, Grayson, McCray, Ratliff, and Floyd are the men up front. The linebackers are Holland and Sterling. And Hector, Hillary, Hinton, and Jennings are in the secondary. The starting lineup's brought to you by Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Second down, nine yards to go for Jackson State. Looking in the eyes of Mark Washington. Again, the pitch to Destry Wright, trying to turn the corner, gets a block. And finally dragged down after a few yards gained by Brent Sterling, number 55. Along with number 65, Charlie, Swan Thompson tried the eye toss to the left side offensively, right side defensively. Good job. Penetration in the backfield. A little opposition there with the blocking assignment. Picked up about uh, seven yards, bring up about third down and two. Resting outside the 25 at about the 27-yard line. Slot man on the right side, on the wing. Destry Wright gets the call again. Forward to the 30-yard line and a first down. Gar Holland, the linebacker, on the stop. Defensively for Tennessee State, number 52. So it is a first down as Destry Wright has gotten the call on all three plays and we said earlier that they're going to have to try to establish that running game indeed Charlie again Tennessee State's shown some stiffness defensive wise first down and 10 for the Tigers of Jackson State on their own 31 yard line and they need to establish a running game again they work from the eye remember last year they were more of a running shoot type offense although they put the tight end in there on numerous occasions and went to more Alessa West Coast. Here's a flag, but a pitch to Destry Wright turns the corner into the secondary and falls forward to the 40-yard line, but we may have illegal motion against Jackson State, which would nullify that fine run and almost a first down for Jackson State by Destry Wright. Good call, Charlie. I do believe had some uh, early participation on the right side of the offense. There it is there. Number 20, little premature movement. Bill Spencer, the fullback, a transfer out of Syracuse is the man you're speaking of. Destry with a fine, nifty run there. Stop made by Jeremy Hillary. Shot of Coach Carson, along with his offensive coordinators. 33rd meeting between these squads. Jackson State with a 16 to 14 to advantage. The pitch again to right, left side this time. And he is tripped up before he can turn the corner by 27, Lamar Carter. Out of Tullahoma, Tennessee. Defensive end with a defensive back number. Good job there. Penetration there in the backfield. Good job defensively on the right side for Tennessee State. Gain of about two and a half yards. Bring up a second and 13 for Jackson State. Mark is yet to put the ball in the air. Perhaps this is the time. Play action pass, perhaps. Sylvester Morris is on the near side. Here's a pitch to right. Looking for the reverse. reverse. Got a wall. Here is Sylvester Morris Got turning the corner. Slow. And he struggles to the 35-yard line. Just shy of the 35 is Sylvester Morris. 6'3", 203, junior out of McDonough High, New Orleans. A little slowly developing here. You see him coming from the end. 
fake step upfield, comes back here as the reverse. Went a little deeper than he should Too have. deep, of course, and it's too slow at the, at the point of attack after blocks had been made. Here he is, faking a step upfield, going around the handoff. Too deep a route there. He should have been a little more parallel to the line of scrimmage to hit the play once the blocking had formed. Brings up a third down at about seven. Gain of seven on the last play. Here's the first pass by Mark Washington. Throws incomplete. Overthrew everybody. Morris was the intended receiver or the closest Jackson State player to it. So that'll bring up a fourth down punting situation. And that'll bring on the junior out of Provine High in Jackson, Mississippi, Kenny Page. Execution is going to be uh, key for the Tigers tonight. Both Tiger teams, Jackson State as well as Tennessee State, both coming off uh, big losses last week. And both are going to be trying to fight to see who can get into the winning category tonight. Deep man is Jared Hillary, who has played both starts as a defensive player, but will also play some offense as a wide receiver this year. As you look at Kenny Page, 33 and a half yards of pop last week against Howard University. Last year, averaged 33.7 yards per punt. As I said, Jarek Hillary is the deep man. Very dangerous. Ten man up, but maybe a block attempt here. They've got a block on. Oh, snap. Just gets it off. Gets off a high one. Fair, Fair catch. catch at the 30. Call for by Jarek Hillary. There's a timeout on the field. No score. Just under 11 minutes to go. We're in the first quarter from Memphis at the Southern Heritage Classic. Today, people who didn't send the money Western Union and the heartbreak it caused meet Sue and her boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Mike. What happened, Sue? My car broke down. I called Mr. Wonderful here. Send money, I said. And he didn't use Western Union. No. And it took forever. I had to spend hours with the tow truck guy. Mm-hmm. Meet Sue's new fiance, the tow truck guy, Lowe! <laughs> hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Six yards with 100 green, two yards with gold, stick pins, heavy duty thread, and some of those iron on transfers. Barney here for the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. Jackson State going on defense after moving from their 17 to the 35. Now Tennessee State gets an opportunity starting at their own 30-yard line with Leon Murray, their quarterback. And here's the starting lineups presented by Western Union. Here's the yardage from a year ago, a week ago, I should say, 445 yards, four touchdowns. Two of them went to Tyrone Butterfield as Butterfield goes in motion. Here's Murray throwing on Two first Butterfield. down. Butterfield has it, and he's run down after a three-yard gain out to the 33-yard line. So he goes to work right away, completes his first pass. Butterfield a little banged up. He's got a right ankle uh, sprain. And, uh, of course, he's a little ginger on that leg. He says he feels okay. As you look at Leon Mary, let's look at the rest of the starting offense for the Tigers of Tennessee State. They have an offensive line that averages somewhere around 298 pounds. Keeps it on the ground this Defense. time, and nothing happening for Tennessee State. Maybe a yard loss there. Good penetration by the Jackson State defense. Calvin Davenport, number one. You see him as a starting tailback. He was the man who handled the carry that time. Followed by Arcente Broom at fullback. Corey Sullivan, Butterfield, and Mario Scott are the receivers. There's the line of Smith, Anderson, Boone, McNutt, and Thompson. And the two good ones in that lineup are Anderson and Thompson. Back to pass, brought to you by Western Union. Wide open, and it's complete for a first down across midfield into Jackson State territory to the big tight end, Mario Scott. Two catches a week ago as you look at Jackson State's defense. Eric Chandler, Hammock, Rogers, and Marshall up front. 
Gain of 24 yards on that pass play. Gatlin, Reese, and Wooten are the linebackers. And Burton Anderson, Williams, and Wiltshire, the veteran back there in the secondary. Brought to you by Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. First and 10 at the 45 of Jackson State. Here's Davenport on the carry. Not much running room for him. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Edward Reese on the stop. Good penetration by Reese along the ball carrier. Davenport, no yard gain, bring up a second down and 10. Mark War uh, Leon Morey talking things over with his tailback. Davenport again struggles for a yard gain before he is tripped up by Ed Reese out of Chinchula, Alabama. Sophomore at six foot. 228. Back to back tackle here. Early going by Reese. Watch the penetration. Here it is. A reverse pivot to Davenport. There's Reese, number 56. After a yard gain, brings up third down and nine, dictating a passing situation for Leon Murray. Murray, one for one, one, two for two, rather, in the passing department so far. Back to pass again. Swings it out to Davenport. Davenport flag with down. a flag down, has running room, a first down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line before he's finally brought down. But let's see what the penalty marker is all about. Reese again on the stop, teamed with Adrian Jones, the other linebacker, for the stop again. Flag perhaps will nullify that. Maybe some premature movement offensively by Tennessee State. Here it is. Didn't see any thing there. Good job by Leon Murray. Flare out to Davenport. Plenty of blockers, a convoy of blockers. Here's the initial hit there. Well, the penalties are offsetting. There are two flags offsides. Tennessee State was uh, guilty of holding and Jackson State guilty of lining up in a neutral zone. Do it like Casablanca. Play it again, Sam. <laughs> Third down and nine all over again. Byron Johnson is our referee. Of Houston, Texas, a longtime referee in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. We've known him for 18 years. What a, what a veteran official. Third and nine. Out of the shotgun as Murray throws. Tyrone Butterfield touchdown. down. Tennessee State. 43 yards, make it 44. <laughs> Four yard pass play, Murray to Davenport. Remember last week they connected 12 times. They've connected twice tonight and they have six points. 70 yard drive. On for the point after for Tennessee State will be Gabe DeLong if they go for the extra point. He's on the field right now. You look at Leon Murray, quite a young man, unassuming, quite a talent. Doesn't get a lot of ink like some of the other quarterbacks we've seen in black college football, but he is one to be reckoned with. Transferred from Pitt, from Shreveport, Louisiana, a junior. Penalty. Now we may get a celebration penalty. This happened to them a week ago in their loss to Middle Tennessee State. They had an end zone celebration, and let's see if this is what happened. And they wound up kicking what amounted to be a 35-yard extra point, which they missed, and it cost them basically the ball game. They lost the game by a point. At least a chance in overtime play. And his kick is no good. So it stands at six to nothing. Tennessee State. 8.44 to go. In South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts, and they find helpful people like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems, and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. No Limit Records presents Magic. 
in store September 15th. Sky's the Limit, featuring Master P, Sea Murder, Snoop Dogg, Silk the Shocker, Mia X, Mystical, Fiend, Kane and Abel, Max, Sons of Funk, Soldier Slim, and the whole No Limit family. Magic, Sky's the Limit, in store September 15th. Today's game in part brought to you by AutoZone. The more than 1,700 1, AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. Leon Murray with five touchdown passes to his credit this season already. And Here it three is, of Charlie. Them to Butterfield. Three things occurred here. Great pass protection, a tight over-the-head spiral, and a great route by Ty Butterfield as he escapes a would-be defender to get it into the end zone for a 44-yard touchdown. The defensive back was Kevin Williams, who was victimized. Keith Williams. Keith Williams, yep. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's yes, he's still, still victimized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Get a chance to see the quarterback with a little exuberant celebration that caused the penalty. Well, I don't know if that caused the penalty or not. I, can't I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I hope that's not what caused the penalty. But they got penalized last week for that. Anyway. Jackson State finding themselves down six to nothing. Here's DeLong with the kick again. Torrey Thigpen at the five, fumbles Follows the ball, the bricks it up across the 10, out to the 15, and he'll be down just at the 15 yard line. Of course, that last scoring drive was a six play, 70 yard affair that used 215 off the clock and was culminated with that 44 yard touchdown pass to Tyrone Butterfield, who has three touchdown receptions this year. Five touchdown passes for Leon Murray. Very quietly putting his name, name that is uh, Murray, in the record books. He's ranked second in the nation in total offense this week and his third overall last year in total offense. And, of course, Tyrone Butterfield leads the nation in receiving yards. He had 171 last week, 44 already, plus a couple more this week. Here's Destry Wright trying to go to the right side. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Mark the reason of Vandellas. Good force, good field, good containment, good stop again. Larry Floyd. Yes, coming up from his defensive end position. <laughs> Tennessee State seems fired up early going, particularly both offense and defense. Jackson finds himself struggling. Second down and nine. Back to pass is Washington. Throws it out. A little bit too far intended for Sylvester Mars. Third down and nine. Defending on the play is Legarius Jennings out of Birmingham, Alabama. Out of Winona High there. Johnny Cole, former Texas Southern. He's the offensive coordinator for Tennessee State going over things with the offense. It is third down, nine. Swan again, the man in motion for Jackson State. Washington back to pass. Has time. Overthrows a wide open man. Sylvester. And that was Sylvester Mars who was wide open at about the 32, which would have been enough for a first down, but he was overthrown. And some of the problems that uh, Mark Washington had last week was settling down early and not getting too jittery. 7.47 the time went remaining. And that'll bring up a fourth down punting situation then. As was last week, Charlie. It wasn't the opportunity didn't present itself. Execution was the thing. And, and again, you can see tonight, wide open clearly for 18, 19 yard reception, ball overthrown by the quarterback. Brings up a fourth down. With the high snap, gets off a pretty good punt. Fair catch being called for and made right at midfield by Jared Hillary. And a flag is down, maybe not giving him the uh, two, two yard buffer zone. And we'll be back. B-E-T. 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 Yo, B-E-T. It's about diversity. If you could help only one, who would you choose? The homeless, the elderly, or perhaps the disabled? When you give one gift to United Way of Parksville, Montgomery County, you're helping most everyone in need. 
our youth, our elderly, our homeless, and our helpful. Your donations to United Way are distributed to 25 area agencies, so you don't have to choose just one. United Way of Clarksville, Montgomery County. Help us build a caring community here at home. I think Can't find what you want to watch? Confused by those TV magazines that give you the network it's and not the number? Play. With the Cable Guide, it's easy to find what's on by listing your cable channel numbers next to the networks. Plus, with the Cable Guide, you'll get easy-to-read 24-hour grids, complete movie listings, and special daily highlights for the entire month. Subscribing is easy. The cost is added to your cable bill, and you can cancel at any time. Don't waste time looking when you could be watching. Get the Cable Guide. Call your local cable company and start your subscription to the Cable Guide today. Here's perhaps the call. As Charlie mentioned, they didn't give him that two to five yard buffer zone, but watch this. They fan out. It may have been 97. I don't know if they was calling him. Not that giving him the opportunity. Been a little hard to see. Of course it was, but the two down men, the two trained killers that has to go to the uh, return man like a heat-seeking missile did fan out. They gave him the opportunity, but I don't know if they called number 97 in the person of Marcus Beeks interfering with him to catch the ball. First and 10 at the Jackson State 45. Murray gives the ball to Davenport. Gets about a yard or two on the play. He is three for three, 71 yards and a touchdown in the game already. And there's Butterfield who has the touchdown. And we talked about he has a little sore ankle. He's limping off the field right now. And he'll be replaced by David Jones, number 82. Moving quite sensitively. Second down after a gain of two, second and eight. Jarek Hillary is in the lineup offensively now for Tennessee State. Remember, Five men out. We said he can play both ways. What a catch. What a catch. And it is caught down inside the 30 at the 25-yard line. Avon Black. Avion Black. But let me see, do we have a flag down or do we have a completion? The, the line judge is going to talk to the referee, Byron Johnson. Good here. Good play here. Pass all the way. Nobody in the backfield. Great job by Leon. They're calling, I think, an ineligible man downfield. We have an eligible receiver downfield on the offense. Five yards. Repeat the down. I know there was a lot of people downfield. They didn't have anybody in the backfield blocking. Fine job here by the quarterback as he scrambles out. Murray, great catch. Good concentration here by Avion Black to come up with the ball again for naught. Illegal participation downfield. Downfield lineman cannot go down until the ball is thrown. It is second down. They'll call it 13. Play clock down to six. Little swing pass. Short arm by Butterfield. He was getting ready. <laughs> he was getting ready to get hit. So he said, "Let me sh short arm this one." Alligator arm, they call it. <laughs> yes. He did not WBIH. He's got to watch ball in hands. He had something materializing there. It was like a uh, uh, hit screen out to the uh, up man. He had two blockers downfield, but again, it goes for naught when you don't catch it. And that is Murray's first incompletion of the day. But again. Ty Butterfield, a dangerous receiver. Going to draw. Well, it looked like it was a fake draw. Good a battle downfield between the defensive back and Vincent, Corey Sullivan. Vincent, Vincent Burton, 19 in coverage. Good job. If we had a chance to see it again, this is the way defensive backs should play. Take off and fly patterns. You put the receiver right on your back. You'll have to push you down if he's going get, to get beyond you. Great job here by Benson. Watch. Turns, looking at the ball, has the defender right on his back. Has the receiver right on his back. Great defensive play. Good blocking here at the point of attack. Play action fake. Heaves it up. Great coverage, as you can see there on the right side. Has the receiver on his back. Outstanding job, defensive backs. Ashley Johnson on the punt it away for Tennessee State. And it does bounce into the end zone. There was no one deep for Jackson State, so the ball will be brought out to the 20. First down and 10, Jackson State will start their third possession of the afternoon. We'll be back.
great job on that paper jam. Like I handle that toner. No Limit Records presents like a with a hole in it. Oh. Magic. In store September 15. Sky's the Limit, featuring Master P, C Murder, Snoop Dogg, Silk the Shocker, Mia X, Mystical, Fiend, Kane and Abel, Max, Sons of Funk, Soldier Slim, and the whole No Limit family. Magic, Sky's the Limit, in store September 15. 61,171 was the attendance figure from a year ago. And it looks like they may have that and maybe surpass it in the nine-year history of the previous eight. That was the largest crowd they had. Great job. He's done a great job here with the Southern Heritage Classic. Had one of his fine judges. The Army Bailey was up in our booth. I'd like to say hello to him and his family. Great judge here in the Memphis area. Wish him luck coming up in the uh, Northwest Tennis Classic in New England next weekend. As Mark Washington had to carry the ball, we may have a late hit on the quarterback. Number 16, Jackson State starting at their own 20, their third possession of the afternoon. Previous possessions were the 17 and the 15, and they put it in both occasions. Extended defense is being provided by the Tigers of Tennessee State. And that's what we talked about earlier, Lem. We said defense was going to have to be the key for both of these squads. Of course, they have not allowed much in the way of running, and of course, Jackson State came out running face mask against Tennessee State. Byron Johnson will let us know. We have a personal foul, face mask on the defense. Automatic first and ten. I wonder if Byron could sing, because he looks like Al Jarreau a little bit. What do you think? <laughs> Don't get him started. I love you, too. I ran into him in the airport yesterday. I said, we have a plane in the morning, <laughs> so please keep your flag in your pocket. And he's only thrown five penalties tonight. <laughs> Six minutes and 13 seconds remaining in this, the first quarter. At their own 35, Jackson State with a first down and ten after the face mask penalty against Tennessee State. And here's Destry Wright, first down out to the 45-yard line. Good burst, a P play up the middle. Good hole provided there for Destry Wright as he shows some of his skills, talents, and attributes. He's the young man that can get Jackson back into the winning column. 22 rushes, 71 yards a week ago on a touchdown. The only touchdown which came late in the game. They were in danger of being shut out for the first time in a while before Destry Wright scored, and then they converted a two-pointer with the pass to Torrey Thigpen. Destry uh, rushed for over 100 yards in uh, four, more ga uh, four games or more last year. His biggest coming in 163 yards. Pitch to Destry again, but nowhere to go that time. Again, defending very toughly for his Kippy Cork for Tennessee State. Good job by Cork. Transfer from Holmes Community College. Kippy Cork, number 19 there. Almost sounds like Kipchoge Kino. Track star. Yes. Great Olympian. Used to run against trains to <laughs> work out for the Olympics. Second down. After a loss of one, second and 11. Destry again, the lone setback. The pass. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver. One of the other problems that Jackson State had last week was receivers holding on to the football. No excuse for that one. And that one again in and out of the hands of Sylvester Mars. He was one of those people that had problems a week ago. Double wing here. No play action fake. Just a straight drop back. Fine pass here. All he has to do is catch it. Again, in and out of the hands of Sylvester Morris. He has to WBIH. Fundamentals is the thing here, Charlie. Execution, execution. Watch the ball in your hand, blocking and tapping. Third and 11. Brings up with an obvious passing down. Let's see what they do with it. Here's Washington. Drops back. They're blocking at the Has point of attack. Has plenty of time. Throws. And it's complete for a first down. Right inside the 40. On the reception. Leroy Fields. Fields, who's starting in place of Daniel Guy, who's a little bruised up right now. Anton Hector, number 24, is the defender. 
Here it is. Good job. Good catch, just as we were talking about execution. Fine job. Ball thrown a little high. Again, coming up with a fine play as Leroy Fields, the first down yard. 18 yards on the catch out of the shotgun. They work with the ball at the 38-yard line of Tennessee State. Deepest penetration tonight for Jackson State. Swan again, the man is the one in motion, number 81. Long and count. Destry right on the draw play. Gets Nifty a block. Move. Nifty move. And struggles to the 30. Gain of close to about eight yards on the play. As Destry right on the draw play. Takes it down to the 30-yard line of Tennessee State. Michael Swanson, the man in motion. Here it is. Just a draw play. Destry Wright does what he does best, advancing the ball upfield for an eight-yard gain, brings up second down and two at the 30-yard line of Tennessee State. 351 left first quarter. 6-0, Tennessee State leading. 44-yard pass, Murray to Butterfield. Full house backfield now for Jackson State. Ducksworth in motion. Play action. Wide open. Was knocked down. Great defensive play by Anton Hector. <laughs> Intended receiver, number 86. Kendrick Travis, tight end. He was open momentarily. And Hector is playing in place of Eric Joyce, who was injured last week. Dislocated his elbow. Play action. Here it is, Charlie. He looks up. Three-step drop. It's hot. Out, he right. floats it. He floats the ball. He's got a rifle of the ball in there. Great job by the defensive back coming up to make the stop. Timeout on the field. 3.26 to go. First quarter, 6-0. Tennessee State. Right now. Yeah, it's fine, honey. Yes, honey. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do another one. McDonald's? This is a great idea. Let's go. It's Thrifty Car Rental's 40th birthday, so let's get the show on the road. Call 1-800-4-CARS. There's something special going on at Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. You rent a car from Thrifty, you get a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Just ask. When you rent a car at Thrifty, you'll drive home with a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Get the show on the road with Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. Call 1-800-4-CARS. On this drive for Jackson State, they've covered 50 yards and six plays, and they're facing a second down, make it a third down and two at the 29-yard line. Tennessee State's 29. That's worth in motion again. And the handoff straight ahead, nothing doing as they give it to Bill Spencer, the fullback, and he's stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. May have lost a yard. Fine penetration on the left side defensively for the Tennessee State Tigers. Eric McCray leading the charge. It's big number 95. Brings up a fourth down. Here's a major decision again by Coach Carson. They're going to go for it on fourth down and two. Jackson State. year they were six percent in fourth down conversions a year ago 12 of 20 first down Destry right to the 25 so it pays off their first gamble on fourth down this year good gaping hole there provided by the right side offensively for Destry right as he gains about four and a half yards watch it here it is it's almost like a trap play with a back leading Good job by Destry, lowering his shoulder, keeping his legs turning, and picks up the necessary yardage for first down. Needed only one, picked up four and a half. Right with 36 yards on nine carries in this game. We have a timeout on number, on blue, fade to wear uh, legal equipment. You got Improper equipment by one of the Tigers of Tennessee State, and it's an automatic timeout issued 
two, Tennessee State. And we'll take one with 2.48 to go, and Tennessee State leading it by six. <laughs> It's crazy. My hair doesn't need a stylist. It needs a therapist. And that's just what I got with Pantene Pro-V Treatment Conditioner. Once a day, every day, like taking vitamins to calm damaged cuticles, adding shine and control. Make your hair behave better? It can. Pantene Pro-V Daily Treatment Conditioner. The No More Crazy Hair Days Conditioner. In Denton, Texas, a lot of folks who work on their cars go to AutoZone because they know they're going to find quality parts, low prices, great selection, and good people like Tom Robinson. You see, Tom's the kind of guy who really likes to help folks out. And since he's been around cars most all his life, he knows his parts, too. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice from folks like Tom, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Six to nothing. Two forty-eight. The time remaining. Tennessee State cheerleaders happy. They're leading six to nothing, but Jackson State threatening with a first down and ten at the twenty-five of Tennessee State. The pitch to right, fake reverse. Right keeps it. Tries to turn the corner, but gains maybe only a yard on the play. Fine job by the secondary and linebacker trio on the right side defensively for Tennessee State. Gar Harlan, number 52, one of the men on the stop defensively. Jennings, Along with Legarius Jennings, yes. Yes, good force, good field, good containment. Good communication there. Great communication as a result, a two-yard gain. Brings up second down and eight for the Tigers of Jackson State. Right the lone setback. Swanigan in the slot to the right. Torrey Thigpen also in a slot to the left. Back to pass is Washington. Screen. Triangle flanker screen on the left side to Morris. And he struggles down to about the 19-yard line, where it'll be third down. Again, didn't fool the right side defensively. Jared Hillary there again. Here it is. He fakes to the right, looks right, throws back left. The screen, the screen is developing. Good Jared job Hillary. there. Yes. Great job. Did not get fooled. Came Again, right up. Yes. People who were on the ground defensively got up and got back into the tackle. Third down and five. Big third down play again for Jackson State. Big pin in motion. Blitz. Complete. First down, Jackson State. Jennings again on the stop, number 42. And Morris on the reception. But he has the first down inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. When you need it, it was there. Good throw. Fine throw by the quarterback. Here it is again. Mark Washington sets. Fine throw, fine catch. As a result, first down yardage gain. First and ten as inside the 15. As poorly as he played last week because of the line, they still never sacked him. That is screen. Howard. Here's the screen to Hiller, uh, to Correction, Destry right inside the 10 to the 9-yard line, or right at the 10 is where they'll mark it. It'll be second down after a gain of four. Brent Sterling, number 55, linebacker coming up to make the stop. Otherwise, you could have counted it six points for Destry Wright. Brent Sterling, you saw the stats on him from a week ago. Six tackles, five unassisted. A little miscommunication here offensively for the Tigers of Jackson State. They're looking to the sideline for communication. Well, they've got time. Nine seconds on the play clock. Just got it off. Heat. First sack of the ball game. And coming in to make the stop was Lamar Carter. 
Missed five games a year ago because of an injury. Prior to the injury, the last five games, he had 34 tackles and led the team with eight sacks. He gets one right now, his nothing, first of the year. Nothing on the backside to prevent this. When the quarterback's away, defensive end has the right to blitz and hawk the quarterback. Fine job by that young man, the defensive end, number 27. Lamar Carter and a loss of nine on the sack by Carter. Out of Tullahoma, Tennessee. That's the end of one quarter. We'll be back. Everybody loves the circus, including me. So a few years back, I started one. The circus is coming to town. The only African-American circus in the country. I fly from city to city on Southwest Airlines. Their little fares let me fly ahead of the circus so I can spread the word. Hip-hop under the big top. We've got the best show under the big top, and Southwest has the best one over it. You are now free to move about the country. Right now, Cheryl Chapman isn't thinking about antioxidants. She doesn't know that an important antioxidant, vitamin C, is found in Florida orange juice. And she hasn't heard that the American Cancer Society says foods like orange juice may reduce the risk of some types of cancer. She just knows she likes it. 100% pure Florida orange juice. Are you drinking enough? got to talk. These kids are mixed up with don't know right from wrong. They're my friends. People who don't dial 1-800-COLLECT are nobody's friends. 1-800-COLLECT is 10 cents a minute every evening. Really? This isn't a game, kid. You could be saving your parents money. Bobby, with us or him? You made the right choice, son. 1-800-COLLECT, 10 cents a minute every evening. When it's time to clean your outside windows, does the job seem this big next time try new windex outdoor just aim spray and rinse windex outdoors concentrated formula and sheeting action dissolve tough outdoor grime to get windows clean no buckets no ladders no aggravation bring a big job down to size with new windex outdoor a beautiful shine a lot less time that last sack by Tennessee State gave them five for the year. They had four a week ago against Middle Tennessee State. Third and 14. Jackson State at the 18-yard line of Tennessee State. Back to pass, Washington looking. Time, plenty of time. Throws, has it complete on the far sideline to Dory Thickpen. Good job covering downfield by the secondary of Tennessee State, along with the linebackers dropping back in zone coverage. Yes. Quarterback Mark Washington had no one to throw to. First As quarter you stats. look at the first quarter stats brought to you by AutoZone, and those six first downs that Tennessee State has came all on this drive. You see the third down conversion. And that... First quarter stat brought to you by AutoZone. More than 1,700 AutoZone stores across America. The best parts in auto parts. Fourth down. Second fourth down attempt by Jackson State tonight. This will be a long one. Fourth and three. And now they're going to call a timeout. Fourth James Carson. They want to talk things over with their coach along the sideline. See what kind of offense they can come up with. John Shannon is the offensive coordinator, former assistant at the University of Maryland. And look at Coach James Carson going over to get into the huddle. But John Shannon is going to conduct most of this confab. Yes, the brain trust is there. Again, I, I guess they had worked with check, check with me, quarterback, going to get to the line of scrimmage, and we'll do an audible. And again, maybe the crowd noise, particularly down in the end zone area, it's tough to hear, and then they can't get the signals together from the sideline, and as a, as a result, they had to call time out here. Crucial situation here, fourth down and three. It certainly is. Jackson State goes home to play their first home game next week against Florida A&M. We'll be there for that one, while Tennessee State has the week off, and then they'll take on Florida A&M in Atlanta. 
in the Atlanta Classic, Atlanta Football Classic. Good looking crowd on hand tonight. So again, a fourth down. Probably more than three, more like four. A lot of alumni here tonight. tonight. We've seen some already. Tom Cleo was Gaines, principal now, and Utah, Alabama, Claudius James, former Tiger, played with the Green Bay Packers. Jesprey Wright, the lone set back on fourth and three. At the seven-yard line. They may be trying to get Tennessee State to jump. Well, no, we're going to run it. And the throw knocked away. Great defensive play by number 10 for Tennessee State. And that is Darrell Hinton, the strong safety. Darrell Hinton out of Chattanooga, Tennessee's Brainerd High, intended for Tory Thigpen. Watch Mark here. It wasn't a good route, first of all. That was ran by number seven, Tory, Tory Thickpen. But again, the pass was poorly thrown. Good coverage there. Again, by Darnell Hinton. Brings up a first down and 10 for the Tigers of Tennessee State at their own seven yard, yard line. line. So the Jackson State drives from their own 20 to the seven. Here, Coach Cole there getting in the defense. Oh, oh. It'd be a break for Jackson State. It, it is. is. First turnover in the ball game goes to Jackson State. On a pitch back, it just did not help that it was not on the mark. Not executing. Let's see what happened here with the exchange from Mark Washington. Tony Rogers. Number one. Here it is. Trying to get it to Davenport. Davenport. Never got there. Good job by number 95, I believe, from Jackson State. Tony Rogers coming up with the fumble recovery. Great break. First big break for the Tigers of Jackson State this evening. And so they get the ball back. 14 minutes, 42 seconds to go in this, the second quarter, ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. At the Tennessee State four-yard line. First Jackson goal. State has it. First down and goal. Destry. Destry right to the one-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Second and goal. He's tough down there. Indeed he is, Charlie. Scored on a two-yard run against Howard a week ago. Destry right. A year ago. Kept Jackson from being shut out. 976 yards. 5.3 yard per carry average and nine touchdowns. At four 100-yard games, he was the number four rusher in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Versatile athlete with extraordinary talent. Ducksworth in motion. Straight ahead. Count it. And they give it to Bill Spencer, and he takes it in for six. It's all tied. Spencer on a one-yard run. With 14.03 to go. Two plays, four yards. We're in the second quarter. As you look at Bill Spencer, and here on for the point after is Brian Reynolds. The snap, good hold, balls up. Kick is up. No good. No good, and we're tied at six. Time out on the field. Six apiece. A break for Jackson State. On Lead Story Sunday, the president's fate now that Kenneth Starr's report is in the hands of Congress. Lead Story Sunday at 10.30 a.m., 9 p.m. Eastern. Some things are best when you never use them. Fire extinguishers, get out of jail free cards, you know, things like that. Here's something else you'll probably never have to use. A quality guarantee from your cable system. For instance, if we're not on time for an installation appointment, then installation is free. If you have a scheduled repair and we're not on time for any reason, you'll receive a $20 credit, guaranteed. But do you want to know the best thing about this quality guarantee? You'll probably never have to use it. 
Everything you want in a sport utility vehicle is here at Wyatt Johnson. <laughs> now, the affordability, comfort, safety, and handling features you want are combined with the excitement, ruggedness, and versatility of an SUV at Wyatt Johnson. Go anywhere and do anything affordably with the new all-wheel drive Subaru Outback, Outback Sport, and Subaru Forester. Only at the home of rock bottom prices, Wyatt Johnson. Tennessee State's first turnover of the year with Jack six on the board for Jackson State. Here it is. Bill Spencer takes it in. One yard plunge. Knots it up at six. Both teams missed the point after touchdowns. Tennessee State following a penalty or celebration missed the 35 yard PAT. Jackson State missed here on a regular point after touchdown. Jackson State kicking off. Look out. Fumble again. Look out. And let's see who has it. Jackson State again. Tyrone Butterfield was the man on the return. Very dangerous kickoff returner. And again, another turnover that goes in Jackson State's favor. Charlie, again, it proves the point. It confirms validity that in football, it's not only offense and defense, it's a try, a try effort. Offense, defense, and special teams. Special teams can win a lot of ball games. Here's again, Jackson State is kicking off to Tennessee State following a one-yard plunge for the touchdown for Spencer. Kick cover team gets down, strips the ball from the carrier, comes up with the fumble recovery at the 34-yard line of Tennessee State, first down and 10 for the Tigers of Jackson State. In less than a minute, they've fumbled twice. In three plays, they fumbled twice. That is Jackson State, and, uh, Tennessee State, and Jackson State trying to take advantage of it. They were trailing 6-0. It's tied at 6, and here's Destry Wright. Destry Wright running down inside the to about the 30, make that the 32-yard line, 31. See where they mark it. Marking it right about the 31-yard line. Gain of three, second down and seven. As you look at the last scoring drive, it was a two-play, four-yard deal. It used up only 39 seconds on the clock, and Spencer took it in for the touchdown. Second and seven. Right the lone set back again. Back to pass is Washington. Has plenty of time. He's going to take off and run now. And gets inside the 30 to about the 26-yard line. Will to bring up a third down and about three. Good coverage downfield. Zone coverage was deployed there by Tennessee State. Every man was covered, locked down. You got a linebacker blitzing from the from the weak side. Everybody's covered. Good coverage downfield. No one to throw to. As a result, Mark Washington decides to run the ball upfield, coming up shy about two yards for the first down yard. Gain of five on the last run by the quarterback, Washington. San Antonio gunslinger. Ducksworth and Wright, the backs split behind him. Wright has the first down inside the 20 to the 19. Big yardage. Goes Destry Wright. Pick up about eight yards for Destry Wright. Get a chance to watch it again. Here it is in your living room. Look at this hole. Good blocking downfield by the line, but fine job providing a gaping hole for Wright as he picks up first down yardage. The ball's inside the 20-yard line. We'll make it to 19-yard line for Jackson State. 13 carries, 51 yards in mass. First and 10 at the 19. Washington the blitz. punt on the blitz. Throws one incomplete. Receiver never saw the ball. Yeah, he had to throw it. He was under pressure, and the receiver was Leroy Fields. But there was a lot of pressure coming. There's Jennings, who, uh, Ligarius Jennings, out of Birmingham, Alabama, who applied the pressure to the quarterback, forced him to throw it quickly, and of course, the receiver has to read it, too. He does, Charlie. He has to know when there's a blitz and when they're dropping back in zone or even in combination coverage. Again, it's his fault because he never looked around. The ball was thrown to him. Had he located the ball, he may have had an attempt to die for it. Again, good defense by Tennessee State University. Brings up a second down and ten. From the eye formation, they work this time. Big pin in the slot to the left. Big pin in motion. And nothing going on. 
one that time for Destry Wright. Quincy Faulkner. Faulkner is the first man to hit him. Transfer out of Kent State from Winton Woods High in Cincinnati, Ohio, number six. A senior came up to make the stop. Four dead in Ohio. There he is, Quincy Faulkner. Kent State, four dead in Ohio is the song. Here it is. Good job by Falker. Here he is. Blitz, shoestring tackle. A loss of two and a half yards. Third down and 12. Washington again throws the out pattern. Has it complete on the far sideline. I have the first down. But I don't believe they got the first down on the reception. Sylvester Morris again. What a rifle throw. Get a chance to watch Mark Washington again. One, two, three, set up. Cock, it's rifle. Watch it. Boom. Defensive back draped all over the receiver. Again, fine throw, fine catch combination. Barely missing the first down yardage. Here it is. Over the head spiral. Boom. Great coverage. Hector just throw. didn't have a chance. No, he didn't. It is fourth down again and two. Again, again, uh, the, for the third time tonight, they've been faced with a fourth down situation. They've been successful on one. I talked. And here I talked. Right. he made oh. it. Oh. And Tennessee State has it. Hector made up for the pass that he gave up to Morris and recovered the fumble. Anton Hector becoming opportunistic there on the fumble recovery. Looked like it may have been a touchdown had it not been a fumble. Great job defensively. Turnover after turnover. And we'll be back, 11.03, the time remaining. Second quarter, it's all tied at six apiece in Memphis. In South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts, and they find helpful people, like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems, and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. It's Thrifty Car Rental's 40th birthday, so let's get the show on the road. Call 1-800-4-CARS. There's something special going on at Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. You rent a car from Thrifty, you get a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Just ask. When you rent a car at Thrifty, you'll drive home with a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Get the show on the road with Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. Call 1-800-4-CARS. This portion of today's game brought to you by Thrifty Rent-A-Car. 11.03, the time remaining here. Charlie Neal and Lim Barney as we look at the last play. Destry Wright gets the first down. Looked like he was headed for the end zone. Yes, sir, Charlie. He had a gaping hole there. One of the up men hit him on the arm. Ball uh, pounces out. Again, coming up opportunistic with the fumble recovery is Anton Hector. Tennessee State with the ball. They have two turnovers. Jackson State won. And we have a tie ball game, but it's first and ten at their own seven. That is Tennessee State. Second time they start at their own seven-yard line. Giveaway takeaways play a big part in winning and losing. Tennessee State has given it away twice. Jackson State won. Davenport dives forward to about the nine-yard line. Gain of two. Second down and eight. Tennessee State this week ranked number five in the nation in 1AA in total offense after a big week a week ago as far as yardage is concerned and they're ranked second in the nation in passing offense coming into today's game. Back to pass. Knocked away at the line of scrimmage. Almost. Touchdown. Whoa, they're going to say it was a lateral. Whoa. They were going to say it's a lateral. What another turnover for Jackson State. Harold Wooten was smart man on the play. Get the Denver salute. He knocked the ball down, then recovered it. Terrell Davis salute. Go. And it's a touchdown for Jackson State. They call it a lateral, and Byron Johnson's explaining it Hell to the quarterback, Leon Murray. See, it's Hell a lateral. Wooden. Hell Wooten. Here it is. Watch. Smart enough, Charlie. Intelligent enough. To make the play, let the official call the game. It's on the last 33 
seconds we've had two turnovers and now a timeout is being called and here's lc cole he wants to talk things over with byron johnson he's out on the field with 10 minutes and 30 seconds to go but it was a lateral clear cut here it is watch yes behind the line of scrimmage uh -huh. yep it is not a forward pass no, it was it a lateral no it wasn't and Good job. Harold Wooten, he looked at it for a minute didn't know whether he just knocked it down what he should do but he finally went back picked it up goes in the end zone and he has a touchdown yes has the presence of mind to pick it up and it is a score kick it. There's L.C. Cole. See if we can make an extra point tonight. Neither team has been successful thus far. Snap up, down. It's good. Just made it. Off the rock, <laughs> The extra point is becoming a an adventure. Thirteen to six. Today, people who didn't send the money Western Union and the heartbreak it caused. You say your dog called? Yeah, said he needed tuition money for obedience school. That's amazing. No, he's always asking for money for something. Pretty Madonna. What did you do? I sent it. But not Western Union. No. They never treated me special. So it never got there. No. But that's not the worst part. It's not. No. Now he turned the cat against me. Uh -huh. Hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Yes, I got my plane ticket. Just one last thing to get. My grandson's graduating. College. Girl, oh. I got the oh, hat for you. Since 1985, AT&T has provided the United Negro College Fund with over $40 million in support. Grandma! Oh, man, that hat is the bomb. No, baby. Now, that hat that you got, that's the finest hat this family's ever had. I'm so proud of you. Oh. Four turnovers in the last four minutes and 12 seconds in this game. Four turnovers in the last four minutes and 12 seconds. Three by Tennessee State. One by Jackson State. Take another peep at it. It's definitely a lateral because it's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. A bat there by Wooten. Now he has the presence of mind. Pick it up in the end zone. Lateral touchdown for Jackson State's defense. Heads up ball player. As you look at Brian Reynolds, Avion Black and Tyrone Butterfield are the deep men to receive the kickoff. Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds out of Jackson, Mississippi's Provine High. He replaces Adam Harris. Good kick. He did just kickoffs a year ago. And here's Butterfield finally picking it up, looking for a place to run, gets a hole! Makes a juke along the sideline, run out of bounds in front of his own bench. But not before he got up to the 30-yard line. Boy, he was quick. And just present. look at that last scoring drive. It wasn't really a scoring drive. It was a recovery of a lateral uh, fumble in the end zone. Exactly. For the touchdown. Little Tennessee State returned two against the... Uh, Tennessee State for touchdowns a week ago. Wooten recovered the lateral in the end zone for the touchdown, and Jackson State has a 13-6 lead. Tennessee State now with the ball at their own 30-yard line. This is their fifth possession of the evening. First down and 10. Murray throws, has it complete. And finally, Corey Sullivan gets the first down not before he gets up to about the 43 yard line as you look at Corey Sullivan 13 yards on the play Sullivan out of Miami's Killian High first and 10 Tennessee State working from the shotgun is Murray Any time again, throws, has it complete. And 
pass. Avion Black all the way down to the 24-yard line, 26-yard line of Jackson State. Avion Black on the reception. We talked about the fine arm of Leon Morey. You're seeing it two plays successively. Fine throw, fine catch combination. Here it is. Ball is snapped by the raising of the leg. Good protection here. And they fake the action. They, they fake this shift to the quarterback and they give it to the running back, Dewan Marshall, who runs for another first down. Down to the 10-yard line. Dewan Marshall out of Fort Lauderdale's Dillard High, who had four carries a week ago his longest run of the season 16 yards first and 10 at the 11 yard line we'll call it they can get a first down without scoring Marshall the lone set back fade pattern overthrown intended for Butterfield Rashad Anderson covering defensively Number 46 there for Jackson State. Big kid who was a safety who has been moved to the cornerback. And because of his speed and his size. But it's a new position for him this year. He's got a dangerous man he's covering. And the person of Tyrone Butterfield. Ty Butterfield. Second and 10. 9.25 left second quarter. Young man who's inspired by both his mother and his family. On a roll student two years at Central High School in Miami, Florida. Sullivan in motion. Trips. Heat. Good play. Incomplete. Good play defensively. They were coming. Indeed. Number 45 applying pressure. Hassan Longstreet. Watch it again from the right side at the top of the screen. Here it is. Had he not had that pressure. He had maybe six. Yes, he did, Charlie. Leon Morey was aiming in. Here it is. He's got three out to the left side where he's attempting to throw the See ball. See Butterfield there? He yes, was open. wide open. He's ready to dance. He just didn't have time to get it to him. It's third down and ten. Three-step drop. A little hot. Oh, Sullivan was open. He had beaten his man on a quick post pattern. And he just... Zipped it a little bit too quick. Got a little excited. Covering on the plate, number Mr. 19. Burton. Burton. Burton, yes. He was certainly open. Was number 80, Corey Sullivan. Fourth down situation for Tennessee State. Let's see if they go for it. They may go back to that same play. Trip summation. Murray is one, not one to get excited on fourth and ten. They probably want to score. They're not worried about the first down here. They send Butterfield in motion. Sullivan. Nothing. And they tried to hand it off. Good play. Inside. To Broom, the fullback. And he got nowhere. Lost yards. So they drive from their own 30-yard line. They get down to the Jackson State 10. And they're turned back. Good defensive stand in by the Tigers of Jackson State. Tennessee State was certainly knocking on the door. Get a chance to watch it again. Watch the defensive line who makes this play. The ball, it wasn't executed that well. Well, one of the players, number 90, was blocked, Eric Chandler, by number 76, or 78, uh, Jason McAllister, right into Arcente Broom. But the penetration will do that for you defensively. Get it upfield. From their own 12, a little Shuffle pass. pass. First down. Fumble! And maybe Tennessee State has it. Well, the ball might exchange hands about four times in a huddle like that. The officials are trying to separate the players. Tennessee State is celebrating prematurely, perhaps. They haven't seen anything from the officials. Let's see if we can see who recovered. A shuffle pass executed well. Now it's official. Second time there's been a fumble. There it is. It's out. Yes, three right. It's out. Tennessee State does recovery. Time out on the field, 8.59 to go, 13 to 6, Jackson. Everybody loves the circus, including me. So a few years back, I started one. The circus is coming to town. The only African-American circus in the country. I fly from city to city on Southwest Airlines. Their little fares let me fly ahead of the circus so I can spread the word. Hip-hop. 
under the big top. We've got the best show under the big top, and Southwest has the best one over it. You are now free to move about the country. Oh, you have the right hand and you have the left hand. Okay, so you put them together and you got a zipper. So, you know, you got a zipper. <laughs> and if you zip like that, you two will be a superstar. That's right. <laughs> it's the house that sold hip-hop, reggae, R&B, salsa, all sounds and all energies from the inner space that is so BET, where music lives. Look at that last play again, Lynn. Again, a little lethargic here by Destry Wright. Well executed, shuffle pass, but again, he's carrying the ball a little lethargically downfield, and a swipe again on the arm caused the ball to come out. Tennessee State being opportunistic comes up with the second fumble recovery that Wright has given up. And we were talking about the offensive line earlier, Lynn, opening holes for Destry Wright. They've done that. He had 12... Uh, yards before he turned that ball over. That's the fifth turnover in the ball game. Destry Wright responsible for both of Jackson State's. First down and 10, Tennessee State at the Jackson State 24-yard line. Defense didn't have a chance to get any rest. Murray hands off, straight ahead. Not much running room Back to the for Bill Spencer. Scrimmage. Back to the line of scrimmage goes Tennessee State. They might give him a yard. Fine ball game. 43 seconds and counting second quarter here in the ninth annual well, that's Dewan Marshall I should say carrying the ball number 26 for Tennessee State Eight twenty-five and counting play action again he's got room to run as well Marshall still on his feet turn spins at the inside the 10 has a first down at the seven yard line Big fella at 6'3", 205. And he can take some punishment and, and give it out. And as you can see, Charlie has speed as well, as well as strength. A proven ball player. Here it is. Hold your popcorn. He's coming into your living room. He's got the option to run it. A gaping hole there on the right side. He turns it up, makes a spin move. Would-be tacklers laying in a wake as he continues upfield. Great run by the quarterback. 18 yards for... Leon Murray get a chance to see it from the backfield here it is gaping hole receivers are being covered by defenders one missed tackle two missed tackles bad technique Anthony Payton bad techniques and finally he was brought down by number 19 from the secondary Vincent Burton there's Along a timeout because Jackson State's defender number six that's Anthony Payton. Payton that's one of the players that Marshall dealt punishment too. Yes, he did. He tried to hit a big man high and got all the blunt of the blow. Peyton at 175, giving up quite a few pounds, about 30. 210 pounds. To, to uh, Leon Murray. And Murray picks up the first down inside the 10 to the seven yard line. They marked it at the six. It'll be first and goal at the six. You can't go high on big runners. You got to go stop, top high. Toss, I toss. Got something going. Inside the five to about the three goes Donnell Brantley. Out of Jonesboro, Georgia. First time we've seen him carry this evening. Carol Wooten again on the stop defensively. Here it is. Toss from the eye. Good blocking at the point of attack. Fine run. 27, Wooten sticks his head in there and makes the tackle. Again, they keep the ball on the ground. Nothing happening on the running play for Tennessee State. And bring up a third and goal. Good job defensively. Second time successively, the ball was ran by number 32, Darnell Brantley. Advances the ball back to the line of scrimmage. We'll make it first and goal, third and goal from the three-yard line. Leon breaks him out of the huddle. Clear Murray, action. Trying to turn the corner. He does. Touchdown, Tennessee State. Leon Murray. And we're going to get a penalty against Jackson State. Because Wooten was a little bit too... 
boisterous with the receiver from Tennessee State. Here it is. Carlos Thomas, the tight end. Play action here. Keeps it, we rolls it out field. On the defense. After the touchdown. Touchdown good. Penalized on the try. Personal foul against Jackson State. And that was on Harold Wooten. Got a little carried away with the blocker, Carlos Thomas, tore his helmet off. That's what <laughs> gave him a penalty. Ripped his helmet off. <laughs> but Murray, with a rushing touchdown, did not score a running touchdown last year, did not score one last week. So he's responsible for a pass touchdown and now a running touchdown. And here on for the point after is the two. long. And they're going to fake it. Throws it in the end zone. Knocked away. And it's 12 points for Tennessee State. 13 for Jackson State. We'll be back. Seven minutes to go, second quarter. In Denton, Texas, a lot of folks who work on their cars go to AutoZone because they know they're going to find quality parts, low prices, great selection, and good people like Tom Robinson. You see, Tom's the kind of guy who really likes to help folks out. And since he's been around cars most all his life, he knows his parts, too. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice from folks like Tom, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Okay, people, this is a phone, and this is a dollar. You still with me? That's good. Now, dial this number, and all your long-distance calls from home could cost less than a buck. That's right. With 1010-220, all calls up to 20 minutes are only 99 cents. Talk longer, and it's just 10 cents for each extra minute. No fees, no contracts. Am I right, Poochie? Just dial 1010-220, then one, then the number. Bottom line, you get up to 20 minutes on this for less than this. You got that? Good, because if I'm not mistaken, I think nature's calling my dog. You've heard of the fitness magazine, now it's the show. Tone it, shape it, work it on out with Heart and Soul. Premiering tomorrow at 11. If you're thinking about DBS, there's something you might not know. After you pay for the dish and the receiver and the installation, there's still one more thing you'll need. Programming. Let's face it, the shows you want to watch, that's what television's all about. With DBS, there's a good chance you'll have to sign up with several different programming suppliers just to get the same top-rated channels you're enjoying now with cable TV. And that could actually cost more than cable. If you're thinking about DBS, you might want to think twice. Cable TV, the best value in home entertainment. If you're looking for a washer and dryer, then look no further. Baldwin Appliance and TV has the name brand washer and dryer that you're looking for at the right price today. At Baldwin's Appliance and TV, the right price is always the lowest price you'll find on a huge selection of name brand washers and dryers. We'll get you financed and deliver and install your washer and dryer today. Baldwin's Appliance and TV with two locations, serving Clarksville and Hopkinsville. Some of the crowd on hand, over close to 60,000, has got to be here in Memphis for this ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. Charlie Neal and Lim Barney here. Here's the touchdown run. Play action goes Murray, rolls it out. Rashad Anderson just cannot get there in time, and Murray goes into the end zone. Two bootlegs uh, on the play by Murray. Enables him to get it into the end zone. Missed PAT. It's 13 to 12. Torrey Short Thick kickoff. Ten. Boom. Knocked down at the 23. On Hello. the return. Hello, Chicago. Hello, Chicago. Little man. Train killer, he thinks he is now. There he is, number 30, coming up with the stop on the special team. Marvin Jones. First and 10, Jackson State. Their seventh possession of the evening. Let's see what the flag is. There's a penalty down on the field. Byron Johnson trying to sort it out. Jackson State at home for their first home game at Jackson Memorial Stadium next week. We have a lease procedure on the kickoff team. We're going to penalize five yards and kick from the seven. And they'll kick it over. So Torrey Thickpin will get another opportunity. They'll 
forget BET Action Pay-Per-View presents the World Championship Wrestling and the New World Order Ball Brawl War. <laughs> Don't miss wrestling superstars like Bill Goldberg, Diamond Dallas Page, Raven Hollywood Hogan, The Giant, Lex Luger, Sting, and more. It comes your way live Sunday, September 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. All you have to do is call your local cable or satellite provider to order BET Action Pay-Per-View. Lex is a good buddy of yours, isn't he? No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no it's Goldberg. <laughs> I'd rather go to concerts and watch the uh, wrestling. Uh, but it, it, it's big business. I'll tell you, it's entertaining. But yes, it is. That's what my son said. I used to tell Lem the third, don't watch it. I don't want you watching. He said, Dad, it's only entertainment. It's just like you watching. It's like Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go that far now. Uh. So the penalty for illegal procedure moves it five yards back. They kick from the 30. Short a kick comes up. to a big fan at the 20, 25. Cuts back. Still on his feet out to the 32-yard line. Jackson lost an abundant of talent last year to uh, graduation. And, uh, As you look at that last scoring drive, then, they certainly did. They lost 22 seniors. Mm -hmm. 15 of them were starters. Yes. That's, that's a big plug out of both offense and defense. Six went to the professional ranks. They were picked to finish second in the SWAC this year in the preseason coaches poll. Southern was picked to finish number one. Arkansas Pine Bluff third. Texas Southern fourth. Mississippi Valley fifth. Alabama State 7th, Alcorn and Grambling tied for 7th, Alabama State 6th, Alabama, Alcorn and Grambling tied for 7th, and Prairie View 9th. The Prairie View is going to fool some people this week. They are. They are. They, they scored 11 points back. last week against Texas Southern. They, they, they lost, back. but, you know, they, yeah. they did some good things. Yeah, and that's what the coach is looking for, improvement. Four new coaches in the swap this year. Wide this open. one is complete. Duxworth out of the backfield. First down for Jackson State. Good job by Duckworth. I, I, I would be remiss if I missed his points with my homeboy from Gulfport. Give it to Duckworth. Duckworth, uh, like you said, sophomore out of Gulfport, Mississippi. Used mostly as a reserve a year ago, but he has a 3.7 grade point average in elementary education. You know, I must say this. He might be my cousin because everybody in Gulfport is, is related. <laughs> everybody. Everybody calls each other cuz. Hi, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> we all kiss and cousins. <laughs> Fine athlete from Gulfport High. Commodore. First and ten, Jackson State from the eye. The fake pitch and the handoff to Ducksworth once again. Gain of a yard. Just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Lack of execution there with no blocking at the point of attack. Could have been something then, but again, defensively, here it is again. Watch Gar Harlan, number 50, Harlan, number 52, at the yeah. bottom of that pile, stacks everything up. Along with Sterling, number 55. Good job, Cuz. There's Ducksworth. Yeah, Going good job, Cuz. Second down, we'll call it eight. Where's the beef? Washington with right the lone setback. It's 71, Antonio McNaught. The handoff Nothing. to right, he loses yards, stuck in the backfield. Big number 92 there on the stop defensively, and that's Brian Hubbard. This is what you call a lookout block. Nothing. Nobody's blocking. Sterling first there. Number 92 again in the backfield. Brian Hubbard along with Brent Sterling on the stop. This is a defensive line that's not that big. They only average about 260 pounds for Tennessee State. Quick and agile. They struggled last year in defense, but they have seven starters back, and they're loaded at linebacker. That is Tennessee State. Quarterback shifting to the shotgun formation. Motion. Third down, 10. Big back down. To pass. Washington throws in the middle. Knocked away. Deflected. I believe 27. Got his hands on it. Lamar Carter. Intended for Torrey Thigpen. I'd like to question that on Corey. I don't know if the ball was thrown behind him. He only put up one hand. However, he's in traffic. That's that alligator arm traffic uh, right there where safeties look for wide receivers coming across the middle. Let's give a look again. Good good angle here. Good throw. It was deflected a little behind him. Oh, 55 yeah. got his hands Sterling. on Sterling. Sterling. Good job. 
good depth by linebackers. Linebackers can't be fooled by play-action passes. It wasn't a play-action pass, but he has to make his necessary drop of 13 to 15 yards to help out those defensive backs. Kenny Fine Page. punt. Deep. Fair catch being signaled for, but it goes in the end zone by Jared Hillary. So it'll be brought out to the 20. First down and 10 for Tennessee State. Trailing by one point, 13 to 12, with 4.56 to go here in the second quarter. Seventh possession of the first half for Tennessee State. And, of course, don't forget halftime. The bands will be coming on as you look at Kenny Page, the punter. Stay with us for that. Under five minutes to go here in the second quarter from Memphis. We're at the Liberty Bowl for the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic, Jackson State and Tennessee State. Mori at the helm, reverse. And here's Got room. Field with Has plenty room. of room if he can turn the corner. Has room. And he runs out of bounds at the 35-yard line, but not before gaining a first down. We'll see this again, perhaps. No containment, no field on the left side defensively for Jackson State. It's going to be open all night if that continues. Here it is again. Toss away. 99 is trailing. He's got to be upfield. He knows it already. Once he sees Ty Butterfield coming around the corner, you can see his head starts bobbling because he's thinking, uh-oh. <laughs> I messed up. Yes, he did. <laughs> Michael Johnson finally ran him out. Here's Here it is. Back to live action. Throws. He's one up. Butterfield out open. there at midfield. Butterfield has another first down. Another gain of 15 on the play. So two 15-yard plays, one on a reverse, and then on the pass completion to Butterfield, puts the ball at the midfield strike. He's a tough guy. Again, Charlie, I can't say it enough. What he doesn't have in stature, he makes up in statistics as well as in his hustle and effort. And he's limping a little bit right now as he comes off the field. He's just doing like Jim Brown used to do, you know, crawls up and then the next play runs 80 <laughs> yards on you. Butterfield only 5'9", 190 pounds. And here's a handoff in the backfield. Nothing going on there. They lose a couple. That was one of Jim Brown's trademarks. He'd run the ball for eight yards and then barely get up. That's right. Everybody thought they had him stymied it out. Next thing you know, he's around the left end for 85 <laughs> yards. You know, didn't you? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> David Port on the last carry with four minutes and counting to go here in the first half. Good entertaining first half for the crowd. Loss of one, second and 11. Murray. Pressure. Throws. Caught. Corey Sullivan to the 35-yard line. First down and 10. Covering Vincent Burton on number 80, Corey Sullivan. Good throw and catch combination. Leon Murray to Sullivan. 16 first down. yards. Here it is. Three-step drop. Hot. Over the head, Spiral floated it. Defensive back laying off just a little too far was Vincent Burton. 16 yards on the pass completion. Trips left. Again, Murray throws it deep. Too big. Avion Black is Too the intended big. receiver down there. But nothing doing as Rashad Anderson had him covered. Fine coverage in the secondary playing zone. Fine arm. You can see the arm. The result of the arm of Leon Morey has an outstanding arm, and he's doing nothing but getting better, Charlie. And he's so calm. He's not one of these guys that gets a lot ex gets excited. He's, right. he's, uh, he leads by example. He's not a rah-rah type of an individual, kind of quiet, but does get the job done. Second down and 10. He says, don't sweat the small stuff and believe in all of it is small. Direct there we go. to Davenport. Davenport. Could take 10. it in. Five. Could take it in. Touchdown. Now they count it. Yes. Direct snap to Calvin Davenport. Caught They're going to say he, was, he got the ball over the end line. 35-yard run by Calvin Davenport. I want you to see what made the play work. Watch Leon here. Everybody's watching Leon. The ball is snapped directly to Calvin Davenport. He outlegs everybody in the middle for the score. So Davenport with a 35-yard touchdown run. Excellent fake, but the fake was carried out by Leon Murray that fooled the secondary. They still thought it was going to be a pass before they knew it. 
the young man Calvin Devonport had squeezed in an end zone going for two again two point conversion wide open touchdown or two, two. to the tight end and that was Mario Scott for the two point conversion to make it 20 to 13. Here's the two point conversion again. Nobody covering the tight end. Mario Scott unmolested for the score. Two point conversion. Tennessee State has scored on their last two possessions, an 80 yard drive this time. And they culminated a 35 yard run by Davenport. This came with 317 left to go in the second quarter. All but one score has occurred here in the second quarter. As you look at Mario Scott out of Pomona, Pomona, California. Six play, 80 yard drive. He used up a minute 39 off the clock. Elsie Cole in what has been a back and forth game here 20 to 13 Tennessee State leading they led it six nothing Murray's 44 yard pass to Davenport Spencer's one yard run tied it at six apiece for Jackson Jackson went ahead 13 to six on Wooten's recovery of a lateral fumble in the end zone Murray's two yard run pulled them within one 13 to 12 and then Davenport's 35 yard run has given them the lead following the uh, two-point PAT by Mario Scott. We have delay, five-yard count. Now they got to delay a game on Tennessee State. One of the things that we used to see and that has changed in college football this year, Lim, is whenever there were an interconference type game, two different conferences, they used to use a split officiating crew, official. right. but not anymore. What happens is the visiting team has their officials from their conference officiating the game. Swack so these are SWAC officials. Jackson State is the visitor this year. Right. They have SWAC officials. Next year, yep. if it's the same two teams, it'll be Ohio Valley. Ohio Valley mm -hmm. officials, right. So now they'll kick off from the 30-yard line. We have a dead ball fire. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the kicking team. 15 yards from the 30-yard line. Well, this will give Jackson State a uh, pretty good field position. When did all of this occur? I don't know. But <laughs> and did somebody say something to the official after he gave him a five-yard penalty? They have. Now they're going to kick off from the five, aren't they? <laughs> they gonna kick, at least the 15. Yeah. Somebody yeah. must have said something to the official after he gave him a five-yard penalty. I said something about his ancestral tree. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because it only happened in basketball where you get the technical foul. That was a technical foul. Yes, it was. <laughs> 13, uh, three minutes and 17 seconds remaining in this, the second quarter. Now let's see if they can do something to kick off from the goal line. <laughs> <laughs> that would be half the distance, wouldn't it? They got to maintain their cool and their poise here. They got to stay focused as Tennessee State. And, and they're off sides, so they're going to penalize them again. Ball picked up by one of the up men for Jackson State. And that's Des... Let's see, that's Matt Bowens. But we're going to have a five-yard penalty again unless they Jackson State declines because they we're offside on the kick. We have encroachment on the kick and team. They might get it back to the five-yard line, Charlie. I was just playing at first. I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> you spoke it into existence, however. five-yard penalty encroachment on the kicking team so they'll kick it from the 20 from the 10 you might give it up to five one more five-yard penalty at some point they're gonna have to go half the distance <laughs> <laughs> to the goal half the distance from the one I haven't seen that before I have on a kickoff Thomas Graham, uh, the defensive lineman, was talking with uh, the head official as to who was the coach person, Coach Carson. 
Here's Bowen. Bowen on the return. Strong young man. Strong like Bull. Could have been a face mask, too. Yeah, they take his head off. <laughs> Tattooing him, man. Huh? Giving him the business. So now they'll kick from the 10. They really gave him the business. <laughs> Tory Thigpen and Courtney Harris of the deep men. Tennessee State in her court. And it's short. Courtney Harris. Got Gets one. outside. Uh -oh. Flag down. We may have a clip. This is saying that you're not focused, I tell you. Fine job here by Courtney Harris. Eluding would-be tacklers. Gets the ball back outside There's again. There's the clip right there. Came on number 53 of Jackson State. In the person of Lamar, Lamar Sims. Sims. We have a 10-yard penalty on the receiving team. Blocking in the back. Spot foul. First and 10. From the spot. They move it back. So Jackson State, after all of that, <laughs> will get the ball finally at their own 39-yard line. They could have avoided all of that and just gave it to them for the last time. The first, last kickoff. Comedy of errors uh, in succession here by the kicking team. First down and 10. Jackson State at their own 39, trailing by a touchdown with 2.55 to go in the half. Pass incomplete on the near side. Good throw. No WBIH. Not and watching ball in hand. Vesta Morris, the intended receiver. Legarius Jennings, the man covering defensively for Tennessee State. I mean, you know, they're wearing gloves now, too. I mean, it's no excuse to miss those balls. I mean, it was a fine-thrown ball by, by Mark Washington. I mean, one of the greatest receivers in Jackson State history is in the booth doing radio commentary, and Willie Richardson, and he played during the years where you couldn't wear gloves. I mean, he wasn't even You didn't know what gloves were. Okay, good. <laughs> you didn't even wear gloves when it was cold outside. Not at all. <laughs> they called him Wonderful Willie. Played with the Baltimore coach, all pro wide receiver. Washington to Destry right. Destry shy of a first down. Gets it at about the 48 yard line. It'll be third down and about two. Third and two. Fine throw, fine catch. No, they'll say one. They marked it at the 48. He has to get to the 49 for a first down. Clock continuing, two minutes, 14 seconds. Destry right, first down and more. Hold the ball, Destry. Down to the 43-yard line. Destry has fumbled the last couple of times he's carried the ball. Clock down to 208. They'll stop it to move the chains, and then it'll start again. Here it is again. He's still carrying that ball in the middle a little lethargically, Charlie. It's going to be something his uh, offensive coordinator should talk to him about at halftime if he hasn't already. First and ten for the Tigers of Jackson State. High formation. Right again. Look Wrapped up in the backfield as number 92 got a hold of him there. Right away for Tennessee State. And that is Brian Hubbard. Flags on the field as well. We have a personal foul. Dead ball. Penalized from the end of the run. Whoa. Against Tennessee State. Yes. Here's the man who made the tackle. We don't know who committed the personal foul. Don't forget, both bands coming up at halftime. What, you can't go to a historically black college football game without looking at the bands at halftime. Of course, uh, Tennessee State and Jackson State. The aristocrats, the, the, aristocrats the, sonic, and the sonic, sonic boom of the South. Whoa. Going your way at halftime. Look out. In the Music City. Yes, of, of, of all places. Yes. <laughs> First and 10, Jackson State. The ball spotted all the way down to the 25-yard line. Mark Washington. Screen. Intercepted. Touchdown. 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 75 yards on the return for Lamar, Lamar Carter. Carter. 
Celebration. And they threw a flag. Celebration again. Yeah, he's celebrating in the end zone. But they'll take it. Yes. With a minute 13 to go, Lamar Carter. We have an unsportsmanlike on the touchdown run. It's a touchdown. We're penalized on the try. The quarterback was the only one that had a chance at him. So the sixth turnover of the ball game, third for Jackson State, results in a Tennessee State touchdown. All six turnovers occurred here in the second quarter. Indeed. Nobody wanted to win this one. <laughs> Giveaway, takeaway ratio is even now in this ball game. So now do you kick it or do you go for the two-point conversion? They're going to try to kick it. It'll be a 35-yard extra point. Their second 35-yard of the day. Gabe DeLong will try it. He missed one earlier. Off to their first touchdown. This one is up. It's long enough. Count it. And it is good. 27-13. Tennessee State has taken a two-touchdown advantage with a minute 13 to go on the 75-yard interception return by Lamar Carter. He looked the gift horse in the mouth, took advantage of it. Watch this. He throws off the back foot, had nothing on it, didn't even look. He tried Duxworth to force it into Duxworth, you're right. Nifty move there by Carter. No one's going to catch him. No one was there except for the quarterback, Mark Washington, Mark Washington and he eluded. Uh, that's why he got the penalty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he dove into the end. But so. I really don't see that as celebration, Charlie. Well, he didn't have to dive. <laughs> well, it looked good. <laughs> I'd give him a 10 if he was in the Olympic. I'd give him a dive of 10. I've never seen Greg Luganis dive that good, man. Sweet, man. That was cool. Lamar Carter, there he is right there. Along the sideline, being congratulated out of Tullahoma, Mississippi. Remember last year, Tullahoma, injured. Tullahoma, Tennessee. I mean, Tennessee. Uh -huh. Out of last year, missed five games because of an injury. And coming back with a vengeance this year. In fact, he led the team in sacks. He has one sack, the only sack in the ball game with the quarterback, uh, Mark Washington. And here's Washington on the sideline, looking on. He read the play quite well. Great diagnosis. Big pin LeBron. from the three. Big pin held up and dropped shy of the 20 at about the 17-yard line. Good kick coverage there for the Tigers of Tennessee State. Jackson State looks a little lethargic on their wedge. Uh, the wedge is not hitting full thrust up the middle. They're not hitting the first men down. On kick, on kick coverage as well as on punt coverage, they are men that go exactly to, uh, straight to the ball. They're called wedge busters or train killers. They're like heat-seeking missiles. They're going to find that ball. Great job by the kick cover team of Tennessee State. From their own eight-yard line is where Jackson State has the ball with a minute seven to go before halftime. Mark Washington working up under center. Will they put it in the air? Will they just try to run the clock out? Here's Destry Wright. Turns the corner. Tripped up as he turned the corner by Lamar Carter. Sterling is a bit slow getting up. Good job, good force, good feel, and a good tackle there by Lamar Carter, the young man who had the 75-yard interception touchdown. Good force, good I know he was hoping he could get a replacement after that long run. <laughs> okay. You want to go right back in there on defense, right? <laughs> He's still looking for that oxygen mask. It is second down and seven after the gain of three. Destry right again. And they're just basically running the clock out. They want to go in the locker room, talk things over, and come back out after they regroup. Down two touchdowns. The adjustments they got to make, the uh, two fumbles by that young man who's been pretty much the workhorse for the evening. Destry right, two fumbles, and then the interception thrown by Mark Washington is really foil the efforts of the Tigers of Jackson State tonight. Great defensive play, however, by Tennessee State. And right again, going forward, that's the end of the first half here in Jackson, in Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, as Jackson State goes in the locker room, trailing Tennessee State 27 to 13. We'll be back with our halftime activities and our band. Stay with us in just a moment. 
When our son moved back home while getting his master's degree, right, right. we had to work out some ground rules. Deal. Deal. I'd cook. He'd do his laundry. But those white t-shirts he brought home look dingy. Dingy doesn't play in my house. Whites that aren't washed and tied with bleach can turn dull, but tied with bleach helps dingy whites look like new again in just one wash. And you know what? I nailed this laundry thing. Oh, I'm so <laughs> proud of my baby. Uh, wonder if I could teach him to iron, too. It's got to be tied. Okay. <laughs> no. Now you can give your family the outstanding whitening power of tied with bleach, plus the bold, fresh scent of the clean country air back home. Introducing new Mountain Spring scented Tide with Bleach. Don't do that again. <laughs> or $2,000 cash back on any new 98 Transport or Montana during the Pontiac Summer Sell-Down. See your Pontiac dealer today. Living Needs allows you to access most of the death benefit while you are living. I was able to hand her a check. Whatever she felt like she needed to do to improve the quality of her life, she was able to make those decisions. It wasn't somebody saying, you have to die, and then we'll give the money to your family. I took a great deal of pride in the fact that Prudential developed this. The financial worries were not there. Those kids were able to have a happy Hanukkah because of the benefits that we were able to pay out in living needs. We're at halftime, brought to you by Southwest Airlines. With fare so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. We're at halftime here. 27-13 is our halftime score with Tennessee State leading Jackson State. In fact, Tennessee State scored the first touchdown of the ball game, but Jackson State came back with two unanswered touchdowns, but Tennessee State has taken advantage of some key turnovers by Jackson State, and they've taken a 27-13 advantage. In fact, there were six turnovers here in the second quarter, each team committing three. Well, of course, what would a college football game be without the halftime show, especially the bands? Jackson State, they're down on the field right now. They call themselves the Sonic Boom of the South. We're going to go down to the sidelines right now. Take a look at the Jackson State University marching band and the prancing J6.
Focus your attention to center stage and welcome the thrill of a million eyes, unchanged and yet unchallenged. We happily present the Prance and Jay Sets, those gorgeous young ladies from Tigerland, the thrill of a million eyes performing to Prince's soft and wet. of JSU. And now it's time to see the versatility of this unique performing aggregation. We demonstrate our epitome of excellence and show you why we are considered the top show band in the nation as we take you to Soulsville, USA. All right, Memphis, you've seen the Boom's outstanding marching techniques. Now it's time to get into the groove and watch their dancing feet. Come on, boom, let's start it off. Hey, Dirty South, can you really feel it? How about some 27-13, our halftime score with Tennessee State leading. And you're watching the Jackson State University marching band, the sonic boom of the South. All right, captains, we're going to have a coin toss now. This is the team. We'll call it in the air. Um, we want a good, clean game. Um, we're all professionals here. 
Does anyone have change for a dollar? Oh. Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom with Southwest Airlines fun fares that begin at $39. People who didn't send the money, Western Union, and the heartbreak it caused. Meet Sue and her boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Mike. What happened, Sue? My car broke down. I called Mr. Wonderful here. Send money, I said. And he didn't use Western Union. No. And it took forever. I had to spend hours with the tow truck guy. Mm-hmm. Meet Sue's new fiancé, the tow truck guy, Love! <laughs> hey, it's your money. Use Western Union. The fastest way to send money worldwide. Cop top. Your time to shine. So head lemon drop corn crop. It's your time to shine. Brown bombshell raven hair, chocolate clad. It's your time to shine. Okay, people, this is a phone, and this is a dollar. You still with me? Well, that's good. Now, dial this number, and all your long-distance calls from home could cost less than a buck. That's right, with 1010-220, all calls up to 20 minutes are only 99 cents. Talk longer, and it's just 10 cents for each extra minute. No fees, no contracts. Am I right, Poochie? Just dial 1010-220, then one, then the number. Bottom line, you get up to 20 minutes on this for less than this. You got that? Good, because if I'm not mistaken, I think nature's calling my dog. We're not a wire. We're a child's imagination. We're not a place. We're people with names and faces and ideas. We're not a cable box. We're a ballot box. We're not perfect. But we're getting better. Charter Communications. More than you imagine. This time, it's not about the belt. It's not about the record book. It's not about the prize. This time, it's personal. Oscar De La Hoya. Julio Cesar Chavez. Ultimate Revenge. Live on pay-per-view. Friday, September 18th. Seven thirteen is our halftime score. Tennessee State with the lead over Jackson State. Hello again, everyone. I'm Charlie Neal. Glad you could be with us for our inaugural game right here on BET for the 1998 season. And of course, BET is besides broadcasting and sports events and the videos that you see on TV has ventured out into a lot of other areas. And with me is Senior Vice President for Development for BET, Scott Mills. And Scott, let's talk about a lot of things. Some of the people are aware of uh, the restaurants, the jazz clubs. They're talking about a casino. What's happening with the, the other areas of BET right now? Well, as you know, Charlie, we're doing a lot of different things. We've just put, purchased an African-American romance novel publishing business. We've launched our apparel line. But one of the things that we're here to talk about today specifically is that BET has decided to place a BET soundstage restaurant here in Memphis on Beale Street. Uh, I'm not, as you know, the soundstage restaurant prototype was launched in Prince George's County, Maryland. We have a soundstage at Walt Disney World, and we're excited to bring one here to Memphis, Tennessee. And this is number three right now. How soon will we see it here? Well, we intend to start construction in December of this year, and we expect to have it open by this summer. All right. Well, I know someone who's got to be extremely happy that BET is bringing a restaurant to the city of Memphis is the mayor, Willie Henrington. Uh, mayor, you didn't go to either one of these schools. You went to Lemoyne, but you got to be rooting for somebody tonight, right? Or are you trying to stay neutral? Well, I must show my favoritism to a Tennessee State University. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the restaurant coming to Beale Street to Memphis and what's happening with the development of the city, bringing life back to the city of Memphis. Well, let me first uh, say that Memphis is an urban center that's really on the move. There's a lot of synergy here. This is one of the largest uh, African-American majority cities in the country. 
and we are so excited that BET Soundstage will have a presence here on the historic Bill Street. We think this is a very strong market for this concept. I had the opportunity to visit the BET Soundstage in Maryland, and I think it's going to be an ideal situation here in Memphis, and we're just extremely excited about this. Coming so, to Memphis. so when we come down, I can expect you to take me to dinner. Absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mayor Henrison, Scott Mills, always great seeing you. And of course, as the announcement made today, uh, the BET Soundstage Restaurant coming to Memphis, Tennessee. And we're in Memphis for this ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. We continue with our halftime show. The aristocrat of bands from Tennessee State University is down on the field performing right now. Let's go down and take a look. Aristocrata Bands from Tennessee State University with the Sophisticated Ladies. And our halftime show has been brought to you by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. You have the flow chart? Yep. We can win this, Judy. Yeah. Let's get that account. <laughs>
rich people taller than the rest of us? Are their loved ones more deserving of an airbag? Was the sun created solely for their enjoyment? Are we the only car company that doesn't think so? Century by Buick. Full of amenities for under 20,000. Loaded for under 24. Century by Buick. A luxury car for everyone. 27-13, our halftime score. Third quarter just about to get underway here from Memphis, Tennessee in the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. Tennessee State leading Jackson State by two touchdowns at halftime. Let's look at some of the first half highlights. Of course, uh, Jackson State found themselves trailing 6-0 on this 44-yard pass to Calvin Davenport with a minute 8.44 left in the first quarter. Fine touch there. Here's the second score of the evening. Jackson State's Bill Spencer takes it in from one yard. Third touchdown again, Jackson State. Harold Wooten, a lateral recovery for the touchdown. A little controversy over it, but again, it was confirmed a touchdown. Jackson State led 13 to 6. Fourth touchdown came on Lee, Leon Murray's three yard quarterback rollout. Fourth touchdown came on Calvin Davenport's direct snap from center. He eked out the touchdown on a 35 yard keeper. Here's the fourth touchdown, Lamar Carter, interception on a 75-yard run that outlegged everybody. Scores then went up 27 to 13, and it ended the first half. Tennessee State on top of Jackson State, 27 to 13. And you look at the statistics in the first half. Tennessee State leads in the passing department, 146 yards, and they trail by four in rushing. 78 to 82 total yards 224 for Tennessee State 271 and the third down conversions 50% for each team Jackson State has had more opportunities but penalized uh, penalties have hurt Tennessee State they've been penalized nine times for 92 yards they only penalized four times well they were penalized a, a while uh, quite a few times a week ago against Middle Tennessee State Jackson State was only penalized four times a week ago and each team has turned the ball over three times but look at the disparity in time of possession 20 minutes for Jackson State Tennessee State only nine but they lead it 27 13 and we'll be back with more of our game here from Memphis, Tennessee. Our halftime stats brought to you by more than 1,700 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. Yeah, Rudy's here. In South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts and they find helpful people like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. I run into people who smile a little bit when I say I drive a Hyundai. My response to them was, sit down, get behind the wheel, because I think it sells itself. I've gotten so many compliments on that car. It really has a luxurious feel to it. It handled so well. It was very roomy. Uh, I've never had a car that was more dependable. I feel Hyundai has improved their product tremendously. Get in it, sit in it, drive it, and you'll see what I mean. Trains now go 300 miles an hour. Mail, 3,000 miles a second. Athletes continually break records. So how come pain relief isn't faster? Introducing Advil Liquid Gels, the first and only pain reliever in a faster-acting liquid-filled capsule that's gentle on your stomach. On tough pain, Advil Liquid Gels are stronger and faster than extra-strength Tylenol. Headaches to muscle aches. New Advil Liquid Gels. Advanced medicine for pain. Just got faster. 
at halftime here in Memphis, Tennessee at the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic, Tennessee State leading Jackson State 27-13 at halftime. I have the pleasure of having in the booth with us the newly named commissioner of the Southwestern Athletic Conference, Rudy Washington. First of all, congratulations, Rudy. The team not doing very well right now, though. <laughs> I know. We had a rough week last week, but uh, that's why they play two halves football. So. <laughs> no question about it. Let's talk about the, the future of the SWAC under your leadership. Okay. Dr. James Frank did a fantastic job yes, in his did. tenure. You succeeded him after he retired. What do we expect to see in the future? Well, one of the things is what we're doing right now, and that's television. And I hope to get BET and yourself and Lem on a weekly game of the SWAC. And uh, I tell you, I've been to two games in the last two weeks. I've seen 100,000 people come from the turnstiles. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic experience, and I, I just wish we could share it with America. Well, I'm sure you can. The SWAC has a long uh, story tradition, especially in the college football arena. Uh, going back to Grambling and Eddie Robinson, and of course, Doug Williams comes out with a win last week. So, you know, things are starting to turn around, and four new coaches in the football ranks in this way. Absolutely, and some excellent coaches. Alabama State, Alabama a and I mean, we've, we've got some very good coaches. We've got... Uh a tremendous, uh, you know, just tremendous football throughout the SWAC. So we're really looking forward to it, and it's something carrying for for people that are not here. This is uh, this is absolutely electric. Uh, right. uh, the gentleman has put this this thing on. Fred Jones has done a tremendous job. This is great. Memphis has done an outstanding job, and, and you guys are doing a great job. But uh, we really like. It. We just want to win the game. That's all. I hear you, Rudy <laughs> Washington. Always great seeing you. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, Rudy Washington, the SWAC commissioner. We're starting, getting ready to start the second half here. Of course, uh, Jackson State uh, will be kicking off from the 45-yard line. Tennessee State penalized. The band stayed on the field a little bit too long at halftime, and uh, they will kick it off uh, from the 45-yard line and after the penalty. And there's Brian Reynolds to kick it off to Tennessee State. Bounces on the ground. Finally picked up by Butterfield. He spins out across the 20 to about the 21-yard line. So that's where Tennessee State will go to work to start the second half, first down and 10. As you look at the running back comparison, Jackson State's Destry Wright, 76 yards. Calvin Davenport, 36. And a touchdown on seven carries. A big statistic there in the uh, run back matchup is that Wright has two fumbles also. There's Tyrone Butterfield. First down and 10. Tennessee State. Murray going back to pass on first down. Ooh. And that's what cost him before the touchdown as Calvin Dalvinport on a little lateral swing pass was brought down immediately by Anthony Payton. Yes. Payton was shaken up earlier on the one of the long runs by Leon Murray, and he's back. Loss on the play from the 22 back to the 15. Loss of seven on the play. It'll be second down and 17. Murray again back to throw. As at Butterfield at the 30. Just shy of the 30. He'll be about two yards shy of a first down. And it'll be third and two. Tyrone Butterfield on the reception. Leon Murray with the toss. Good protection here. Steps up, finds an over-the-head spiral again. Curl pattern ran there by Ty Butterfield. Just about three yards shy of first down marker. Brings up third and three from the 29-yard line. Davenport, the lone setback behind the quarterback. Murray going to air. Fade. Once again, Corey Sullivan has it. First down at the 40 of Jackson State. Breakdown in coverage by Vincent Burton. Fake inside, and he continued upfield. Good soft toss. He has a great touch on the By defense. Murray, indeed he does. Here it is, wide open. Finally brought down by Benson, along with 27, Harold Wooten. Corey Sullivan takes it to the 41 of Jackson State. First down and 10. Davenport. Wide has, open. Has some running room. Wide open. Still on his feet. Inside Wide open. 15. Wide and open. Five. Wide open. Touchdown, Tennessee State. What a run after the catch by Davenport. Well, a handoff, not a, a handoff, not, yes. I should say. What a run by Calvin Davenport. 41 yards. 
That is his second run of the day. Here it is again. Watch the, de the defiant run. Here it is. Gaping hole wide open. Looking downfield. Meets opposition here. Two would-be tacklers. Stays on his feet. Keeps the knees turning. Wilcher and Peyton missed. Would not be denied. 44 yards. For the point after, the Long. kick is up, and it is no good. But there's a timeout on the field as Tennessee State builds on their lead. 33-13. We'll be back. What's the matter, clown boy? You need to make a call, but you don't have the change. Just use 1-800-COLLECT. Go ahead, make some calls. You'll save a bundle. <laughs> That's great. Mine's 1-800-COLLECT. 10 cents a minute every evening. In the September issue of BET Weekend Magazine, get the buzz on Lorenz Tate, star of the upcoming film Why Do Fools Fall in Love, and the next brother to become a big hit. A new urban style makes its way to the streets. Only a small part in the expansion of the BET brand. Take charge of your child's education. Preview Fall TV and college football on newsstands this month. BET Weekend Magazine for Afrocentric substance and style. Calvin Davenport, eight carries, 77 yards, 76 of them coming on long touchdown runs of 35 and 41 yards. Here's his latest. Invincible determination he shows here. Gaping hole on the offset. One with be tackled, two would be mass tackled. A lot of backs would have gone down. He stayed true. Bobble exchange here. Torrey Thigpen had trouble fielding the kickoff. And finally fell on it shy of the 10-yard line at the nine and that's where Jackson State will go to work the last scoring drive covered 78 yards four plays used up a minute and 40 off the clock culminating on a 41-yard touchdown run by Calvin Davenport the second score for the evening Jackson State starts off deep in their own territory at the nine-yard line a lack of intensity. No fire at all tonight. Tennessee State has scored on their last three possessions. First and ten. Jackson State at their own nine. They're in the third quarter. Jackson State trailing by 20. 33-13. Torrey thick pin in motion. Delay of game. Too much time off the clock. The play clock. L.C. Cole. Half the distance. Looking for his first win over Jackson State. Well, he said... Uh, Going to kick the door in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Three years ago, he knocked. Two years ago, he banged. And this year, he's going to kick it in. He's off to a good start so far. Former Nebraska stand, stand out at defensive end. Half the distance to the goal line. Penalty actually just inside the five is where they'll start. Destry right, nowhere to run for Destry. Preston Ratliff wrapped him up right away. Number 73 out of Greenwood, Mississippi. Defense has their ears pent back now. They're just going to fit right full rudder, full speed ahead. Jackson's going to need a miracle to get out of this hole. Get a chance to see number 73. We saw that last, what, Monday night football? Preston Ratliff, yes. Or what was it? What game was it? Was Sunday? One of those games, the 49ers. Yes. In overtime against the Jets. Out 96. 96-yard run. Anything is possible. If you All get into the second. For those who believe. <laughs> Jackson State is showing a, lot, a, 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 a lack of belief here. Destry right again. Gets a break out to the 10-yard line. Finally brought down by Brent Sterling. Also some help in there. Big 93. Charles Ingram. Here it is. Hold your popcorn. Eight yards on the play. Duo Sterling and Ingram on the stop. Brings up a third down and nine. Dictate a passing situation. I doubt if he'll pass here. If anything, a swing pass from the backfield. Very deep defense. High. 
That's what you call a headache ball, Lim. Hospital ball. <laughs> And it was intended for Sylvester Mars, just a little bit too high for him to handle. Anton Hector on the coverage. And Hector has had a pretty good game back there on the defensive side of the ball. Certainly has. Jarek Hillary, Daryl Hinton, Legarius Jennings, and Anton Hector have done the job. As you look at John Shannon, the offensive coordinator, talking things over with Mark Washington of Jackson State. Back to punt it. For Jackson is Kenny Page. Three yards deep in his own end zone. Good hit. Need the coverage. From the 48-yard line at midfield is where Tennessee State will go to work. Great field position after the return by Jarek Hillary. And there's a timeout on the field. 11.25 to go third quarter. I Romance, scandal, drama, action. Read all about it when Jackie Allen and Egypt Sherrod take book club into a whole new level. Buy the book premieres tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. No Limit Records presents like a bullet with a hole in it. The Magic like a bullet with a hole in, it. Yeah. in store September 15th. Sky's the Limit featuring Master P. See Murder, Snoop Dogg, Silk the Shocker, Mia X, Mystical. We're not a wire. We're a child's imagination. We're not a place. We're people with names and faces and ideas. We're not a cable box. We're a ballot box. We're not perfect. But we're getting better. Every day. We're not just a cable company. We're Charter Communications. More than you imagine. Dustin here at Toilet of Clarksville. It's our opportunity to move out the old inventory, bring in the new. We're going to close it out with a smash, and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to sell America's favorite car for 3% over dealer invoice here at the Toyota store in Clarksville. Surely you don't mean the Camry. That's exactly right, and the customer's going to get to keep the $750 rebate? Well, we're going to do that if... Your mother doesn't find out. I hope she doesn't. Don't tell mom. The place, Mike Smith's, toilet of Clarksville, four and a half miles west of the mall. Punt number 24 gets his hand inadvertently into the face mask, and Xavier Denson. They missed it. Yeah, they did. At midfield, first and 10, Tennessee State, leading reverse, by 20 points. First pass, wide open. Corey Sullivan, he Who missed did? it. He missed it. I can't believe it. And I don't know if that was overthrown or he misjudged it. He misjudged it. Excellent throw. Corey by... Sullivan was wide open on the fake reverse. He just stood in the pocket and let it fly. And Sullivan was out there. And you see the dis stress on the face of Leon Mary. He said, <laughs> I, I thought I had him. Let's look at it once again and see. Look at the composure of this kid. Great fundamentals, great tactics. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he short just, armed it. Yeah, he Short did. armed it. Alligator armed it. Yeah, it should have been six. Yes, it should have. It was right on the money for Indeed. Corey Sullivan. Indeed. Again, Murray. Direct snap. Direct snap. To Davenport. Davenport inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. They got the running game going. They got the passing game going. They're working on all cylinders right now. Yes, they are. Just think if they hadn't had those three turnovers, what it might be. 62 to 13. Here it is. Direct snap. Direct snap again to Davenport. Davenport's doing what he's been doing best all evening, advancing the ball upfield. First down and 10 at the 29-yard line of Jackson State. Davenport again. Davenport has gone over 100 yards tonight, and he's inside the 20 to about the 19. 108 yards, 6 yards, 108 yards. And a couple of touchdowns for Calvin, Calvin Davenport. 10 rush is not a bad average, I tell you. 10.8 yards per carry for Calvin. Last week, he only managed 5 yards on 9 carries against Middle Tennessee State. Having a great game tonight as is his quarterback, Leon Murray. Leon calls a signal change. Fade pattern, fade pattern. Corey Sullivan. Touchdown! Down. Yes! Inadvertent bump in there by the cornerback. I'm sure it's going to be defensive interference, perhaps. 19 yards on the touchdown pass. Let's see. Is there a flag? Corey Sullivan, a little reciprocity there. Yes. 
points against Tennessee State. So it'll come back. Whoa. The only person that was going to catch this was Corey Sullivan. Yes. A little inadvertent pushing there. Pushed off on number 46, Rashad Anderson. How many flags do we have? 19. <laughs> We have offensive pass interference. 15 yards from the previous spot. Repeat the down. I didn't see it. Well, he was in front of the man. How did he push out? Unless he pushed off on the on the break. I didn't see it. I'd like to see that again if we can. Frank T. Rhodes. Dr. Frank T. Rhodes. Fifth Avenue from Pittsburgh. We won't see it from this angle. He just frees his arm up. I, that, I don't see that. Uh, it's questionable as well. Yeah, I don't see that. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. And I'm a stater. <laughs> Jackson stater. Curl pattern. Corey Sullivan, first down. You see where they mark it. Maybe shy of a first down. He had to get to about the 18 and a half. They marked it at the 19. Half a yard shy. So it's third down and one. Here it is again. Uh, out pattern. And I don't know. Richard I question that spot. I question that spot as well. Well, <laughs> again, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan did as well. And the first down is gained on the running play as they keep it on the ground. Leave it with the big fella. Let's see who do they run it with. Number 41 this time. Karan Yee. First time we've seen Karan tonight. Big running back. Number 41. Is that a diamond tattooed on his arm? What is he, a cap? Diamond in the sky. <laughs> <K -A -S> <laughs> <laughs> so it's a first down and 10 for Tennessee State. This drive started at midfield, remember. Murray has him set. We have all the into the secondary and down inside the 10 to the 9 goes Dewan Marshall seeing you out of Fort Lauderdale at 5-8 we have all the splendor and regalia of collegiate football here watch the gapping hole here great blocking at the point of attack here it is boom bounces it out a lot of would-be tacklers laying wake in his and his running there almost first down yardage 8 yards on the play Good run by Marshall. Brings up a second down and 10 from the 10-yard line. A little house clean being done by the referees down there. Now we're ready to go. Murray has the one. Marshall, the lone set back behind him. Arcente Broom is on a wing to the left. Fade pattern. Avion Black working against Richard Anderson, and Anderson got a hand on it. Fine Knocked coverage. away. Fine coverage. Again, I, you can't help but be impressed with the throwing of Leon Morey. Pinpoint accuracy tonight. Some fine throws. Soft lob touches. He's got it all working for him tonight. Third down, two. 11 of 19 for 197. 4.45 a week ago for Murray were his stats and four touchdown passes. Here's Marshall. Marshall trying to turn the corner. May not get the first down. Great Didn't. defensive play Michael by Johnson. Mike Johnson, the defensive back who came up to make the stop and drag down the running back, Dewan Marshall. So to bring up fourth down, great defensive play. It looked like that Marshall may have had a little running room. But that young man, number 31, Mike Johnson, made sure he didn't get it. They're going to go for it. Quarterback Leon Murray is still in the ball game. And they bring in short yardage midfield. On key again. Yeah. And the quarterback keeps it. Didn't get it. I don't think so. Did not get it. Defense stiffens up for Jackson State. Second time they turn it over on downs, going for fourth down attempts. So they went from midfield, had great field position. They stall right at the nine-yard line. 
So Jackson State takes over at their own nine, the second time that they've done this in the second half. And there's a timeout on the field, just under eight minutes to go. We're in the third quarter with Tennessee State leading by 20. It's Thrifty Car Rental's 40th birthday, so let's get the show on the road. Call 1-800-4-CARS. There's something special going on at Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. You rent a car from Thrifty, you get a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Just ask. When you rent a car at Thrifty, you'll drive home with a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Get the show on the road with Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. Call 1-800-4-CARS. In Denton, Texas, a lot of folks who work on their cars go to AutoZone because they know they're going to find quality parts, low prices, great selection, and good people like Tom Robinson. You see, Tom's the kind of guy who really likes to help folks out. And since he's been around cars most all his life, he knows his parts, too. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice from folks like Tom, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Charlie Neal and Lem Barney in the third quarter here in Memphis, Tennessee for the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic in which Jackson State finds themselves down by 20 points. Just under eight minutes to go in the quarter. And they have a first down and 10 at their own nine-yard line. They have to get something going, something consistent. Probably put the ball in the air. On first down, Washington goes back to pass. Flushed out of the pocket, runs, cuts back, and is out to the 15-yard line. They'll mark it at the 16. Gain of about seven. Gonna put it right at the 15, so give him eight yards on the run. Mark Washington, San Antonio gunslinger. Davenport has more rushing yards than all of Jackson State's team. 107 to 88. Pitch back to Destry Wright. Nothing. He cuts back. Made something out of nothing and got the first down. Indeed he did. To the 20. Great pursuit. Good force, good field. But an outstanding run by Wright to gain the necessary yardage to keep the drive alive. Larry Floyd up on the stop. Here it is. Good penetration there by the defense left side for Tennessee State. First down and 10 as Jackson comes out, double wing. Back to pass again, Washington. Pump fakes, throws over the middle. Headache. And Swanigan couldn't hold on to the ball. We get a flag in the backfield, maybe holding, maybe roughing, roughing the passer. Let's see. Again, a good pass. Swanigan just... Didn't hold on to Took it. his eye off the ball. Right in his bread basket. Yes. It was against Tennessee State. Roughing the quarterback. Byron will give us a... We have a personal foul on the defense. 15 yards. First and 10. So it must have been roughing the quarterback after the pass was thrown. So that'll penalize Jack's, uh, Tennessee State again. The more that I is their 11th penalty of the game for 116 yards. The more I look at Byron, the more he looks like Al Zero. <laughs> Don't tell Al that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bell's <Al's> not looking. <laughs> draw on the draw play. Destry right into the secondary. Turns the corner. Jumps one man. Gets out of bounds. After a first down. At about the 46-yard line. Here's Jarek Hillary. The On defender, the number five. Good determined run here by Destry Wright. Play designed to go up the middle. He breaks it back to the right side, lowers his shoulder, and is finally driven out of bounds by Hillary. Jarek right at the 100-yard mark tonight. A correction, uh, Destry Wright right at the 100 mark right uh, mark tonight. Easy for you to yeah. see. <laughs> On the option, the quarterback, Mark Washington, keeps it, scrambles for another first down. Into Tennessee State territory right at the 45-yard line. Well, it's really not over. They Actually, still have the 40-yard line. It's still not over. They still have time, but They've again, they something. have to do something consistently. 
It should have been an option. It was designed as an option. He saw a hole, breaks it upfield. Hillary made necessary the Necessary yardage. 12 yard gain. At the 40 yard line, first and 10 for the Tigers of Jackson State. Tennessee State cannot relax. Ducksworth be up back in the eye. He has the ball. Runs in the opposition in the form of number 92. Or was that 42? It was 92 for Tennessee State. Brian Hubbard on the stop. And look at the Tennessee State sideline. Second down. Second and six. Out the option to Hillary. The right correction. First down. And right punishes the defender as he just runs right over the defending back. And that's Byron Holloman. Well executed option here. Take the ball in the middle. Draws the defensive end. Tosses the ball out. Excellent toss. Puts his head down, his shoulder down. Gains a couple more yards. Holloman holding on. The ball spotted at the 25 now. 26 carries for 110 yardage. And a couple of fumbles. And here he goes again. again. Turns the corner and down to the 20-yard line. Inside the 20 to about the 19. Gain of about six on the play. On the eye. Lead backer. Good block on Hillary. So Hillary grinding out the yards here. Good sustained drive. Remember the, the time of possession in the first half, 20 minutes plus for Jackson State to only nine for Tennessee State. And again, they keep the ball on the ground. That is Jackson State, but they gain hardly anything getting back to the line of scrimmage. And this time on the carry was Bill Spencer, transfer out of Syracuse University. Spencer has a touchdown tonight on a one-yard run. Tennessee State, in addition to losing Eric Joyce, lost their linebacker Armin Williams, who has a knee sprain. He was the team's number two tackler, and he's going to be out ooh, for about four weeks. And there was nothing happening there ooh. on the running game for Destry Wright. Gar Holland, watch this. Watch this. Watch this thing. Boom. Face to face. Murder at the 30. Uno, uno. <laughs> <laughs> mano, mano. Gar Holland out of Memphis Central High playing in front Boom. of the hometown crowd. What a stick. Fourth down. Midfield short yardage. Ducksworth in motion. Hillary trying to get the first down and does inside the 15 to about the 12, 13 yard line. Destry. Destry, Destry right. right. Good job. I just want to give the Hillary the ball tonight. I don't know why. <laughs> Hillary don't want the ball. <laughs> Hillary needs to stop somebody. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Joe get a ball to Willie. <laughs> Willie don't want the ball. <laughs> First and 10 at the 12. Another toss. And there's Destry right. Convoy blocking. Destry has carried the ball quite a bit on this drive. Just about every play with the exception of a couple. They picked up something on the uh, left side defensively for Tennessee State. Right. Somebody's not charging or somebody's injury, injured because they continue to run that play to that side of the field. And in any defensive weakness, they're going to exploit it. And Tennessee State calls a timeout. This drive started at their own nine. They're all the way down to the seven of Jackson State. Great job on that paper jam. 
like I handle a toner. Today, people who didn't send the money Western Union and the heartbreak it caused. You say your dog called? Yeah, said he needed tuition money for obedience school. That's amazing. No, he's always asking for money for something. Pretty Madonna. What did you do? I sent it. But not Western Union. No. They never treated me special. So it never got there? No. But that's not the worst part. It's not? No. Now he turned the cat against me. Uh -huh. Hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. This portion of today's game brought to you by Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. 2.45, the time remaining third quarter. Charlie Neal and Lem Barney here in Memphis, Tennessee. Next week, we travel to Jackson, Mississippi. We'll see Jackson State once again. They'll be going against the Rattlers of Florida a and and Billy Joe. The question is, who's going to play quarterback for the Rattlers? The Rattlers of Florida a and they played three quarterbacks last week. Mike Moran, Pat Bonner, transfer from Temple, and Jose Loriano from transfer from North Carolina State. Yeah. They have Jacques Munley, quite a find at wide receiver. Destry right inside the five. This classic brings all kind of people out from Memphis. I have a fraternity brother of mine in the booth now, Leonard Henderson, who's the state representative. Always good to see him. We cross together, Stan brother. Also have a childhood friend with me, Al Polk from Gulfport, Mississippi with me. So good you to see him. You can't come all. anywhere near Jackson and not find anybody <laughs> that you grew up with, played I, ball with, went to school with. I could go to Alaska and find some, yeah, some yeah, home yeah, No question. That's Jarek Hillary who's shaking up down on the field right now. You may have mentioned his name too many times. <laughs> Hope he's all right. Train is out uh, administering to him. It's a third down and two with the ball at the four for Jackson State. It's four-yard line of Tennessee State. Get a chance. Maybe we can see that play again to see what happened to Hillary. Yeah, he's getting up. A lot of times you, you, you're pulverized by your own team members. And that's not Hillary. No, it wasn't. I just saw the five. Yeah. I didn't see the nine in yeah. front of it. And that's Eric it's McRae. Yeah. Nose tackle from Birmingham, Alabama West High, number 95. He's already on the ground. Maybe one of his own men knocked the wind out of him. It's a lot of wind to knock out. Just a little bit. Again, third down and two. Ball resting just inside the five-yard line for Jackson State at the Tennessee State four-yard line. QB keeper for the and first down. Washington. Got close to the goal line, but it's no not touchdown him. signal, but he has a first down. And it'll be first and goal for Jackson State. This close. Is a great drive. Yeah, it's close, but no cigars on that play. Good job by the quarterback, Mark Washington. Here it is looking from the sideline view of it. Good blocking at the point of attack. Good surge by Mark Washington. No, he didn't get in. This a drive, good sustained drive starting five, at the own nine yard line. And five minutes and 50 seconds they've used off the clock to get to this point. And the quarterback keeps it again. No signal from the official that he got in. Second and goal. Started at their own nine. They're now knocking at the door of Tennessee State. They've traveled 90 yards so far. need is one more touchdown Jackson State Destry Wright goes up and over the top for one yard so Destry Wright with a one yard run puts Jackson State on the scoreboard with 121 to go on a really great sustained drive here he goes up and over Holland and Quincy Falker and he takes it in for six. Now, let's see. They're going to go for the two-point conversion. Destry right, the lone setback. Will they put it in the air? They got trips. Receivers on the right-hand side.
Washington wants to throw it. Does. And Torrey Thickpin has a two-point conversion, getting it over Jarek Hillary. He caught a bullet, I tell you. And it's a two-point conversion to make it 33-21. to 21. With 121 to go. Here is Torrey Thickpin, who had a two-point conversion a week ago against Howard. And he has another one today. Let's watch it once again. The two-point conversion to Thickpin. We'll be back. Are there grounds to impeach the president? The latest in the presidential investigation Monday at 11 on BET Tonight. This time, it's not about the belt. It's not about the record book. It's not about the prize. This time, it's personal. Oscar De La Hoya. Julio Cesar Chavez, Ultimate Revenge, live on pay-per-view, Friday, September 18th. Under $300 a month. What did we say? Under $300 a month. That's right. Wyatt Johnson is loaded with a huge selection of new cars and trucks with payments under $300 a month. If you've been waiting to buy an affordable new car or truck, now is the time. Wyatt Johnson is the place. Under $300 is the deal. Don't wait. Come out to Wyatt Johnson today and drive home your new car or truck. At under $300 a month, these deals won't last. Wyatt Johnson, 855 Craft Street. See dealer for details. 33-21 is our score with a minute 21 to go here in quarter number three here in Memphis and Jackson State which found themselves trailing 33-13 at halftime or actually 27-13 at half and then 33-13 early in this quarter just used up uh, six minutes and 38 seconds off the clock on a 91 yard sustained drive with Destry Wright doing most of the damage all the way down the field. Here's Tennessee State on the return. Boom! Butterfield. Whoa! And he can't cut it back inside and runs out of bounds at the 32-yard line. If we could see that block again, that's the way it should be executed. That's the way they practice kick returns in practice. Every man in that wedge is assigned to a particular man coming down. Here it is again. Let's see if we can see the block. A tenacious block. Here it is. Boom! Smart play by Ty. To get out of bounds. There's that Ty last scoring drive by T Jackson State to pull it within 12, 33-21. Tennessee State has scored on three of their last four possessions, but they're not getting anything going right there. As the bookends, Jason Marshall and Eric Chandler converged on the running back, Dewan Marshall. Yes. Loss of a couple on the play. It'll be second down and 12. Here's Raheem Hammock. Number 91 you're looking at. Second and 12, Tennessee State. And the pass is complete to Corey Sullivan. Sullivan should have the first down at the 49 yard, 44 yard line. Vincent Burton on the coverage again, left cornerback. That's the hot spot in football. All court, most of the quarterbacks are right-handed, so left defensive backs are going to have to be trained killers. As we look at it once again, Leon Murray continuing to build up the yards. Good coverage. And 12-yard gain on the play here. Here's a slow shuffle back to Dewan Marshall, trying to get outside, still on his feet. Inside the 40, down to about the 30 to 37-yard line. 20-yard run. Juan Marshall, they've worked that very well with Calvin, Calvin Davenport tonight. Now it's Juan Marshall's turn. 19 yards on that run for the senior from Fort Lauderdale's Dillard High. Nifty moving. Nifty movement. Good upfield running. Good vision. Out. That's going to be the end of the third quarter here from Memphis. And we'll take a timeout as 
Tennessee State is knocking on the door once again. When we return, they'll have a first and 10 at the 37 of Jackson State. In South Dallas, a lot of folks like to work in their cars, and a lot of them come to AutoZone. They save money on top quality parts, and they find helpful people like Rocky Brown. Oh, sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Rocky's the kind of guy folks go out of their way to see. He's good at solving problems, and he really knows his parts. You see, when it comes to getting the right part, the right price, and good advice, there's just no place better than AutoZone. Oh, folks, I've got some news for you. Not that headline stuff, but real news. You can make all your long-distance calls from home up to 20 minutes for only 99 cents. Less than a buck. Cheaper than a sack of nuts. And it's just 10 cents for each minute over 20. How? Just dial 1010-220. Even Ed can do it. Just dial 1010-220, then 1 in the number. No fees, no contracts. It's about communicating. Up to 20 minutes of it for only 99 cents. Dial 1010-220. Boarding first class and families. Old Navy welcomes you aboard. I can't see a thing of all this value. We almost missed our connection. Old Navy, a great connection for adults, kids, and baby. Oh, Magic, your deal. Even you must like the deals at Old Navy. Old Navy's just the way I like it, first class. Family, this way. I'm looking for Pine Street. Go down to the fork in the road. Right, but make sure you take the left fork. Right. Then you see a big brown dog. Keep straight. Two blocks down the street, you see a man named Slappy selling milk. Don't buy one. You already got one. Right. Hang a right at Slappy. That's a left, right? Uh, a right. Left. 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 Right. 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 Okay. right. Keep straight. Watch out for the goat. Then you see a big McDonald's and... Right. Did somebody say McDonald's? Aren't you glad we brought you here? I'm glad. Start of the fourth quarter, the third quarter stats brought to you by AutoZone. As you see, the time of possession again, Jackson State has a 14-minute advantage. But the penalties, a disparity there, eight more penalties and 131 yards for Tennessee State. They have 100 more yards in penalties, but they also have 209 yards passing for a total of 385. 132 more yards in Jackson State. Those stats brought to you by AutoZone. More than 1,700 AutoZone stores across America. The best parks in auto parks. BET is number one. Now let's see who moved. It may have been offensive linemen that moved a little bit prematurely for Jackson State. I believe it was uh, Tennessee State. I believe it was number 62. And that's Lawrence Smith. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. First down. Nothing's wrong with your eyes, Chess. Larry Smith starting at right tackle in place of Isaiah Haywood, who they haven't been able to get eligible just of yet. Or was it 67? It was one of those two. 67 or Benny 60. Anderson. Benny Anderson. That's the dancing ladies from Tennessee State. Here's Calvin Davenport back in the lineup, turns the corner. The flag is down, first down and out of bounds. Maybe holding. The referee, Byron Johnson, threw the flag. Well, he must have some great eyes because there was nobody <laughs> close <laughs> in a white jersey to where he threw that flag. <laughs> He's got eagle eyes, man. He hadn't been around doing the head official work for nothing. Got his new spectacles on, too, his sexy specs. <laughs> we have holding on the offense. Ten yards from the spot. First down. See if you can spot somebody holding him. It is maybe uh, 89. Is. Yeah. 89. Uh, Tight end, Scott, Scott, Mario Scott. A little takedown by yeah. Mario. Good run by Davenport, yeah. nullified with the holding penalty. Going to bring up a first and 25. He really didn't have to hold then either. No, he didn't. At the 48-yard line, their own 48. Quick pass. Good read. And a good knockdown by uh, Benny, uh, by Butterfield. Rashad Anderson, good diagnosis of that play. Read it well, close, good close. Loose butter. 
Be sure. Tie butter. If he couldn't get it, no one else could. That's right. It'll be second down, 25. Ball at the 48, their own 48. Both teams have played a lot of their reserves tonight. Jackson State trying to get something going. Down the middle. Avion Black had it stripped away. The defender a little shaken up. That Harold was Wooten. Wooten. He went up high to make sure that Avion Black did not catch it. Wooten is still down. It may have been, been a knee in the stomach. Let's see again. He closes well on this play. Boom. No collision there. Might have been his left leg, too. Yeah. Number 83, the intended receiver. Avion Black. They're working on him. Jackson State only tra trails by 12 points. Two touchdowns. And last year, Jackson State was ranked sixth in the SWAC in total defense, sixth in run defense, third in pass defense, and sixth in scoring defense. Looks that like they're man. looking at his knee. They say they may have gotten hit, hit in the knee as he uh, went down. Harold Wooten out of a uh, local kid from Westwood High here in Memphis goes off under his own power. Scored on the lateral fumble. Right. They may have collided knees down in the air. He's actually a strong linebacker, moved from defensive back, even though he's wearing number 27. He was a starter a year ago, so he goes off under his own power, which brings up a third and 25 again for Tennessee State. They have it in motion. Under the screen. Butterfield can't get the first down, stop just at the shy of the 40-yard line at about the 41. They had something going. Had he kept his footing? I don't think it was the quarterback who threw that, if I look at that correctly. It may have been uh, Davenport. Let's, Let's see. see again. No? No, it was. Yeah. It was the quarterback who threw it, Murray. Looked like somebody else had the ball in their hands. So it's a fourth down situation. And I think uh, Tennessee State decides they're going to punt it away. Ashley Johnson is to do the punting. Number 44. Jackson State has twin safeties. High snap. Gets it up. Let's see if it goes into the end zone. It will. And it'll be brought out to the 20. First down and 10. So they drove from their own 32 to the 48. After first down holding penalty, nullified the drive. They had to punt it on fourth down. So now Jackson State will take over. First and 10 at their own 20. Bobby? What do you want? We've got to talk. These kids you're mixed up with don't know right from wrong. They're my friends. The people who don't dial 1-800-COLLECT are nobody's friends. 1-800-COLLECT is 10 cents a minute every evening. Really? This isn't a game, kid. You could be saving your parents money. Bobby, with us or him? You made the right choice, son. 1-800-COLLECT, 10 cents a minute every evening. Fourth quarter, 1340 remaining. Charlie Neal and Lim Barney at the Southern Heritage Classic here in Memphis, Tennessee. Great crowd again on hand for this contest. Ninth annual. A lot of people started to leave early because Jackson State was uh, down 33-13, but they're still within striking distance, and they have the ball first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Down 12 points. They had a long, sustained drive on their last possession. It resulted in a touchdown. Here's a reverse. Sebastian Mars is wrapped up by Jared Hillary in the backfield, a loss of 10. A loss of 10 yards on the play. Sterling also back there. No one was fooled. No, indeed. A high snap, too. It'll be second. They lost nine on the play. Make it second and 19. 
Blitz. Washington throws it, trying to hit Torrey Thigpen. And the pressure was coming. Lamar Carter was covering Thigpen. But there Sterling was some pressure Blitz. on Washington. Blitz again by Tennessee State University. And again, on the plate prior to that, the, uh, the attempted reverse. Offensive linemen cannot allow defensive personnel to penetrate. It is too many Tennessee State linemen in the backfield to try that reverse. Third down. Swanigan, the man in motion. Washington back. Throws has a complete. Third down. Let's see where they mark it. Good mark. And it's complete to Leroy Fields, the big senior out of Monroe, Louisiana's West High at 6'2", 195. A young man who transferred from Oklahoma, broke his leg in the spring and runs about a 4 4 40. So he got out there quickly. Good protection for Mark Washington. Good effort here by Fields. Uh, and he never touched down. Never so he did. Got, got the first down. First and ten on a third 19 play. Washington completes it. Want to get again in motion. Defense can ill afford to give up that much yardage on third down. Washington again looking to go to the air. Throws too high. It's caught. Now let's see if they the might say the defender took him out of bounds. No, the official is saying no good. They said that he probably would not have come down in bounds. Well, we get a chance to see it for ourselves. Good protection here. Mark fires a strike a little high. I beg to differ. Uh, he would have came down. I beg to I, differ. Yeah. Bad call. Yeah, I think he could have come down in bounds. Yes, him. I beg to differ. Had he not been hit. Should have been a catch. Second and ten. Draw. On the draw. Nothing. Oh, no, they read that all the way. Destry Wright didn't have anywhere to go. Sometime fumble will stall the drive, but here. A bad call stalled the drive. It was definitely it could have been a first down. All he needed is one foot in, and the defensive back drove him out of bounds, and the official made a bad call. Third down and 12, a loss of two yards on the last play. Big pit in motion. Incomplete. Intended for Michael Swanigan on the near side. Not a lot of time for the quarterback, Mark Washington, to set up the throw, and they'll have to punt it away on fourth down. Jackson State's Kenny Page will do the work. This will be his fifth punt of the night. He's averaged 41 and a half yards per punt. Snap. He's gotten off some good ones tonight. This one's a little short. Fair catch being called for and let go by Jared Hillary. And there's a timeout on the field, and Tennessee State will get the ball at their own 37. 11 17 to go. No Limit Records presents Magic. In store September 15th. Sky's the Limit, featuring Master P, C Murder, Snoop Dogg, Silk the Shocker, Mia X, Mystical, Fiend, Kane and Abel, Max, Sons of Funk, Soldier Slim, and the whole No Limit family. Magic, Sky's the Limit, in store September 15th. Now at Hollywood Video, rent Titanic for five days. to treasure, yours to own. Now, take the voyage home on video cassette, Titanic. You can stop applauding now. Rent Titanic for five days at Hollywood Video. 
23 21 is our score here in Memphis Tennessee 11 17 the time remaining glad you could join us for BET's coverage of black college football our inaugural game for the 1998 season next week 11 9 the entire BET crew travels down to Jackson Mississippi video cam yeah head cam <laughs> that's got to be Lewis <laughs> very creative cameraman we have we'll be seeing this Jackson State team going this uh, Rattlers of Florida and m also our resident martial art uh, instructor yes but they don't mess with him on the side <laughs> here's Davenport trying to get into the secondary picks up yards out to about the 42 gain of about five it'll be second down and five Davenport has had a stellar afternoon, 113 yards, on 11 carries, a pair of long touchdowns, runs of 35 and 41 yards. Calvin Davenport, senior out of Chattanooga's Brainerd High, 5'9", 195 pounds. Last year rushed for 793 yards and eight touchdowns. to Butterfield for the first down before he's struck down in front of the Jackson State bench. Michael Johnson, one of the defenders, to make the stop. Game was dominated tonight for Tennessee State by two giants. Ty Butterfield and Cal Davenport. Butterfield had 12 catches a week ago for 171 yards tonight, six for 95. Murray, 14 of 24, 228 yards and a touch. First and 10, Jackson, uh, Tennessee State. Here's Davenport again, cuts inside, but not much running room there as Raheem Hammock, defensive end, made the stop. Hammock. Quick, fast, aggressive. Mostly a reserve a year ago out of East St. Louis, Illinois. Second down. Second and about eight. L.C. Cole along the sideline. In his third year, has a five-year deal. Said he doesn't feel any pressure, even though he went four and seven in each of his first two years. Good move again, Davenport trying to create something offensively. Stopped by Jason Marshall. Third down and about four. Nifty feet. Good footwork by Davenport. Talked to L.C. yesterday, said, hey, you picked a finish six in the Ohio Valley Conference. Does that bother you? He said, no, I like that. <laughs> Means I can surprise some people. When you finish the pick near the top, if you finish near the top. You surprise some people tonight. You are uh, a lot more pressure on you. Murray stands in there, throws, has it complete to Corey Sullivan. Out of bounds, first down. Just shy of the 35-yard line. Sullivan's a fine receiver. Yes, he is. Excellent skills. Corey Sullivan out of Killian High in Miami. 6'3", 180. He's just a junior. Has another year. Caught 24 passes last year. Averaged 20.3 yards every time he caught the ball. Came into today's game with seven catches for 81 yards. He did that last week while Butterfield was catching 12. You think Coach Cole has a fetish for the uh, Florida nice. State? <laughs> He's got quite a few ball players from the state of Florida. He has them from a little plate, a little bit of everywhere. Got them from Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> Here's Davenport again, still on his feet. Look at him. And just bounces down close to a first down inside the 30. About the 27, but we have a penalty marker back at the 42-yard line. Procedure, perhaps. Illegal motion against Tennessee State. Got to remember, he's had a couple of runs nullified by penalties, so this he would where he would be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He might be close to 200 yards. 
Indeed. Excellent footwork. You remember last week, Torin Kirksey of Middle Tennessee State burned the Tennessee State of the Tennessee State defense for 251 yards. So they're uh, trying to reverse the things this week. And has. But they still gave up some rushing yards to Destry Wright. He has 100 yards tonight for Jackson State. 725 and Rock continuing the run. Tennessee State. Corey Sullivan tried to make an acrobatic catch. Does he? No. Say he was no good. He tried. You can't teach that effort. It has to be in grade. Remember, he short arm one earlier. We thought it should have been six. He's a little shaken up after that acrobatic maneuver, which proved to be null and void, but you have to give him credit for the Watch effort. Watch it again. Here it is. Whoa! That should have been a catch. Well, he was out of bounds. Hand was, was in bound. His hand was in bound. No, no, you got yes. to foot in bound, though, Joel. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> he did hold on to the football. Yes, he did. But the foot was out of bounds. One-handed grab. He just went up. One-hand grab, and it came down with his hand in bound. <laughs> watch it. But we can see it again. Let's watch it again. Let's watch his left hand. He made a one-hand catch, but watch his free hand. Here it is. Right hand. Watch his left hand. Down! Good. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I love you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Arcente Broom punishing people. On Whoa. With a run. The big fullback, Arcente Broom from Stratford High in Nashville, who's in grad school, majoring in administrative supervision. Finishes undergrad work in May. In fact, LC will have... 14 seniors that six of them, I believe four of them, will graduate in December, and the rest of them will uh, be coming out in June. First and 10, inside the 20. Tennessee State rolling again. And here's another running back at the 5, 4, 3. Michael Tennessee Durden. State, Mike Durden. Everybody's getting into the act now. And Durden takes him down inside the five to a first and goal. One play for 15 yards, and he comes out. But he did the job. Got a big lineman in the backfield right now. Refrigerator. Donnell Brantley is back there. <laughs> Along with Karan Key. Here's Brantley with the carry. He's to the one. And they had big number 65, Sean Thompson, who's uh, preseason all Ohio Valley Conference number 65 offensive lineman back there in the backfield. Did Eric good. Brantley. Did good. Look at Sean. Made a nice block on uh, Longstreet. There is Sean Thompson, a veteran. He's on the right side this time on second and goal at the one. Murray taking his time. He's deployed coolness under pressure tonight. And nothing doing for Key. Yeah, did he? They blew the whistle before he stretched across the goal line. The whistle blew. He was in the grass, so they stopped play. But he had a second effort that got him into the end zone, Karan Key. But it will not count. It'll be third and goal, and we have an injured player for Tennessee State down on the field. It may have been a quick whistle. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even what I said, I said, it it doesn't, yeah, even what I said doesn't make a difference, you know. <laughs> That 27 cents to get me a cup of coffee, right? Uh -huh. Third down and goal. <laughs> a proven performer, I tell you. He stepped into the starter's role and has done nothing but great things for Tennessee State. Man shaking up for Tennessee State is number 71, Antoine McNutt. He comes there he off. Is. An offensive lineman. <laughs> 330 pound junior out of Chicago. Third and goal. Karan Key, the up back. In the eye. 
Adele Brantley, the second back in the eye. This kid is deployed. Great poise and talent tonight. Oh, fumble! Oh. Jackson State recovers. Yes, they do. Number Jackson 31 State recovers. Comes up Michael with it. Johnson, number 31. So they drive from their own 35 down to the goal line, and they turn it over for the fourth time tonight. It's Thrifty Car Rental's 40th birthday, so let's get the show on the road. Call 1-800-4-CARS. There's something special going on at Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. You rent a car from Thrifty, you get a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Just ask. When you rent a car at Thrifty, you'll drive home with a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video. Get the show on the road with Thrifty Car Rental and Blockbuster Video. Call 1-800-4-CARS. Now at Hollywood Video, rent Titanic for five days. Did he say five days? Winner of 11 Academy Awards. Yours to treasure. Yours to own. Now, take the voyage home on video cassette. Titanic. You can stop applauding now. Rent Titanic for five days at Hollywood Video. 10 remaining. Don't forget to stay tuned immediately after today's game for the movie Strap in its entirety. So stay tuned. We may be running a little long here. We're scheduled to come on 11.30 Eastern. With all this passing going on, five minutes and ten seconds to go. Here's Mark Washington. He has it complete. Not much running room after the reception. Courtney Harris. For Harris. But he has a completion up to the 15-yard line. Gain of seven yards on the play. Timeout is now being called. Tennessee State calls the timeout. Four minutes, 48 seconds remaining. Jackson State's SID just entered the booth. Sam Jefferson. Dr. Sam Jefferson. And again, 12 points separates Jackson State from a possible victory here. They're down 33-21, 4-48. And they had a big break on that play that Tennessee State just drove all the way down to their one-yard line and on third and goal from the one, they fumbled. Michael Johnson recovered. And Jackson State recovered. So it was the fourth turnover for Tennessee State. This first turnover here in the second half of the ball game by either team. They combined for six in the second quarter. It was a, like a game of giveaway. Nobody wanted it. Second down and about four. Now they're asking the band from Tennessee State to stop playing. They gave a penalty last year, if you remember. A couple of penalties. penalize them if they don't stop. Crowds in a frenzy. <laughs> the natives are restless. L.C. Cole, he can't afford a penalty now for his band playing. Here we try, here we try to win the game. <laughs> They're trying to preserve a victory here. Shotgun being deployed now by First Mark time Washington. tonight we've seen him use the shotgun, and he slips out of the grass. Tennessee State defense. First down. Got the first down at the 20. May have fumbled runner. the ball. May have fumbled the ball. And let's see. I'm waiting for the official. He's got three fingers up. I don't know what that means. It should have been a first nope, down. Not a fumble. Not a fumble. Well, it was a fumble, but they recovered it. Whatever it was, they said he was down. So it's a first down and 10. Mark Washington on the carry, 4.32 to go. Perhaps the ground can't cause a fumble. Five-yard gain. Let's see. Nifty rule. Yeah, 
the ball came out before he hit the ground. Yeah, but Jackson State recovered, obviously. Yeah. Definitely a fumble. Back to pass. Washington first down. Throws. No. Incomplete. Off Too his low. back foot. Yeah. No techniques at all then. Again, Sylvester Mars, the intended receiver, and the clock stops with 4.17 to go. Here's Mark Washington. There's still time. Four minutes, 17 seconds you to go. you got to score a lot of points. Yes, you, you do. score twice. Yep. Two touchdowns. And an extra point. One. You only need one extra point, but you need two touchdowns. You definitely need two touchdowns. Washington again throws high pass first down and it's Sylvester Morris on the receiving end. That'll stop the clock four minutes and seven till they set the chains. He's rushed a lot of passes tonight Mark Washington. Uh, he's got great skills but at times he does not deploy them. 129 yards passing for him 12 of 27. Through one interception. Big and one for a touchdown. Mars, four for 34 yards. And that 15 yard of this now was his longest catch of the evening. And another completion on the far sideline in front of the Jackson State bench to Mars. Second and four, six yard gain. Clock continuing the run. 335 to go. 60, about 58 yards away from Pater. Ball at the 42, their own 42. Tennessee State is playing prevent defense Can't again. Complete. Rushes the pass. This one intended for Michael Swanigan. Off his hands. Tennessee State has the week off next week. Then they get ready to go to Atlanta for the Atlanta Football Classic to face Florida and m Rattlers see these two teams in the next two weeks. Florida and MC's Jackson State next week, Tennessee State the week after. Swanigan in motion. And this one is complete. For first down in front of Jackson State bench. Tory Thigpen on the reception. Hampton, who came out victorious over Howard today, 38-31. Ranked 10th coming into this week's Sports Network Division 1 AA Top 25 poll. Howard was ranked 20th. Florida and M 25th. Southern 12th. Uh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> they weren't ranked. Southern wasn't ranked. Southern was ranked 12th a year ago. Here's Washington with plenty of time. Looking long. Incomplete. A little bit too far for the intended receiver. Tennessee State lined up offside. Defensive right end was lined up offside. Again, Sylvester Mars, the intended receiver. 3.06 to go. This clock stops on the incomplete pass. Brings up first down and five after the penalty. Four new head coaches in the SWAC this year. Alabama AM, Ron Cooper replaces Ken Pettiford. Ron Dickerson at, at uh, Alabama State replaces Houston Markham. Johnny Thomas replaces Cardell Jones at Alcorn. And, of course, Doug Williams takes over for Eddie Robinson. The legend. Grambling. The legend himself. It is first and five after the penalty. the shotgun. Washington looking. Has a man open. Pressure. Gets out of there and throws. Should be a flag for intentional grounding. There's nobody near, but we don't see a flag. Great play. <laughs> it was. Oh, they are giving him a flag. I didn't see the flag come out. They call it in the grass, so it wasn't intentional. They gave him the the sack. They say he was down. Right there. So it's just as good as the, the penalty, I guess, huh? Yeah. Second and 18. With 2.34 to go. Clock continuing to run out on Jackson State. Down 12 points. No. Incomplete. 
great effort. Sylvester Marsh, the intended receiver. Covered by Jennings. He's played a well of a defensive ball game tonight. Number 42. The entire secondary for Tennessee State has played a well of a ball game. Two minutes, 19 seconds remaining in this, the ninth annual Southern Heritage Classic. Two big plays coming up. A well, big play, third and 18 for Jackson State. They need to get a first down. Throws has a complete to Courtney Harris, but he's run out of bounds. Eight of them. Shy of midfield at the 46-yard line. And that'll bring up a fourth and about ten. Fourth and ten. So this is the biggest play of the night for Jackson State, who has been pretty successful on fourth downs this evening. They're one of three. <laughs> Fourth and ten, they're going for it. Plenty of time for Washington. Throws, knocked away. Don't forget that Jarek Hillary was the defender. The AutoZone player of the game. Number one for Tennessee State, Calvin Davenport. Big night for him. There he is. Had two long runs. Ran for 119 yards tonight on 13 carries. Two long touchdown runs of 31 and 45 yards. Brought to you by AutoZone. More than 1,700 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone is the best parts in auto parts. I've owned three Hyundais because they are really good cars. And I went to the website, checked pricing, options, features. It's a gorgeous car. You get a lot for the price. This time behind their warranties and their promises. I called up my girlfriend and they all came over and we had this big, she brought the car home kind of party. I'm just giving you facts. You know, this is how I feel about my Lantra. You have to drive it and the car will speak for itself. Three twenty-one, Tennessee State trying to snap a seven-year drought. Last time that they beat Jackson State was 1990. Look at this. And a flag is Face down. Face mask has to be still not down. Face mask for holding or clip. I don't know what it was. Determined run by number 32, Darnell Brantley. It's been seven years. 1990 was the last time that Tennessee State has beaten Jackson State. And that score was 23-14. Sean Gregory was the quarterback then. Threw two first-half touchdown passes. They led 14 to nothing. That was Jackson State's quarterback, Sean Gregory. Tennessee had Jimmy Bethay come in, the backup quarterback, to throw a 51-yard pass to Marcus McDowell with 3.30 left to clinch the victory. And there's Tennessee State running backs tonight. Davenport with 119 yards, Marshall with 40, Murray with one. That was good for a touchdown. And we got a first down and 10 for Tennessee State. All they have to do is run the clock out. It'll be the first time that John, uh, James Carson has gone 0-2 since taking over the head coaching job at Jackson State. First time 0-2, and, and they face another tough opponent next week with at Florida a and They could possibly go 0-3. Was the last Joe. time that Jackson State went 0-3. We have to check the animals out for that. In a while. Hope it wasn't doing my year. <laughs> could be, though. <laughs> I love you, too, Chaz. A minute and five to go in this one. can. Leon Murray has done the job. 
Look at L.C. Cole. He said, we're going to tap, we're going to knock, and we're going to kick it in. Well, they kicked the door in tonight. Certainly did. We want to say congratulations to him and his Tennessee State Tigers. They win the ninth annual Heritage, Southern Heritage Classic with a convincing 33-21 victory over the Tigers of Jackson State to go 1-1 one one for the season. While Jackson State's record falls to 0-2 for the first time. Here's the Gatorade Douse. Let's see. Did we get the Gatorade Douse? I don't know. Of course, the play of the game also was turned in by the player of the game. Calvin, Calvin Davenport. Davenport. 45, 41 yards on a run with 13.09 to go Gatorade. in the third quarter. Brought to you by McDonald's. Here that made the score 33-13. Direct snap to Davenport. Off. And watch what he does at the end of the run with people hanging on him. He gets it into the end zone. They missed the extra point, but it gave them all that they needed. That was the 33rd point that Tennessee State scored tonight. 33-21. That play brought to you by McDonald's. Did someone like you say McDonald's? We'll be back to wrap things up from Memphis in just a moment. Right now. Yeah, that's fine, honey. Yes, honey. Daddy, look! Yeah, that's fine. Let's do another one. Raspberry Mac Mac. McDonald's? This is a great idea. Let's go. Thirty-three twenty-one, the final score. Tennessee State, a victor over Jackson State, and there's Leon Murray, who had quite an evening this evening. Two hundred and fifty-nine yards, sixteen of twenty-seven, ran for a touchdown, threw for another, and he has proven that he is a quarterback to be reckoned with in the future, as far as Tennessee State is concerned. And there have been some great ones here at Tennessee State, and he's just another one in a long line. Today's game has been brought to you by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. And by McDonald's. The irresistible taste that makes you say, did somebody stay McDonald's? Don't forget to stay tuned for the movie Strap coming up in its entirety right after this. For Lem Barney, the entire BT sports staff, Charlie Neal saying so long from Memphis. See you next week in Jackson. No Limit Records present The Magic In store September 15th Sky's the Limit 